Hello, everyone, and peace of Christ, all of you. Uh, uh, today, our topic is kind of interesting, as usual. And uh, we are going uh, to talk about uh, the Muslims claim that the one who was sacrificed, uh, or let us say, the one who presented to be sacrificed is uh, Ishmael. Uh, there is many Islamic websites uh, speaking about this issue. And they are trying to present to us something, you know, even themselves cannot cannot prove it. Uh, but as usual, I mean, nothing new. Islam is always is a religion, if we can call it religion, based on claims, but there is no proof. As an example, Muhammad, he came 600 years after Jesus. He never met Jesus. He never saw Jesus. He never spoke the language of Jesus. He don't even know how to say the word, the name, the correct name. He says his name is Isa. We cannot even find the name Isa anywhere. But yet he is correcting the Christians after all those hundreds of years saying, oh, Jesus did not, uh, he was not crucified. So look like uh, uh, Islam is a, is a religion built in a habit where we say whatever we want and who care if you can prove it or not. This is not really a, a question. We do not need to prove anything. We just make a claim. And then they say to you, and the funny Muslims always, they want to debate you and they choose their own topics. Muslims, they, they want to debate always either about the Trinity or topic like this, Abraham or Ish Ishmael. Or first of all, what you have to do with Ishmael and what you have to do with Isaac, nothing. Both does not belong to Islam. Many naive actually in the Christian churches they say to you that Ishmael is the father of the Arab. Those who say such a thing to you, they are certified ignorant. And I heard it many times in Christian churches. The Arab is not an ethnic. The Arab is a word meaning the desert. Arabia is a desert. The Arabian is those who live in the desert. They are the Bedouin. Even the Quran agree with me. So we are going to discuss this topic and let us go first, start from the Quran. Let us show the screen and start our school, which no Muslim can refute. All right. I'm not sure why this is coming like this. I think I'm using all right hmm. all right if we go in the Quran, we will find some nice things exposing Islamic cult from the Quran. Who is the Arab? Who are they, those who the Quran called them the Arab? This is the word Al-Arab, which is the Arab. It's all over the Quran. Okay, who are they? You can choose any one of them. Chapter 9, verse number 90. Do you see what it says? The word the Arab or Arab translated as the Bedouins. Do you see it? Do you see it? This is the Muslim translation. This is not my translation. So why they translated the word the Arab as Bedouin? Because they are the Bedouin. That's what the Arab are. It's not an ethnic. Anyone who live in a desert, in a tent, move from place to place, he is an Arab. And this is all over the Quran. The Arab are the most hypocrite people. Who's saying that? The Quran. 
Do you see it? They are the most hypocrite and the most liars and the worst of disbelief. Okay. <laughs> and they don't believe in Allah and they are ignorance and they are against Allah. Muhammad, he said that because he was desperate, he could not make them believe in him. A few verses after, look what Muhammad said. And of the Bedouin, there are some who believe in Allah in the last days. Hold on, hold on. A second ago, you said they are the worst. But the reason for that, you see the Quran, many people think that this is a verse came after this verse. And the Quran is a shish kebab, it's a falafel, hummus. You put it together, it's a salad. Like it's not, those are not coming in order. The, the Quran is collected by Muslims. This guy, he heard this verse. This guy, he heard this verse. We put them together. It doesn't matter really. All those numbers, they are not exist. There was no numbers like this. Because many of you think like, okay, Muhammad, he made a book and he, he called this chapter the chapter of at as an example. The, the, the fact, Muhammad, he never called it at -Tawbah. Actually, this uh, this chapter used to be called Bara. Because this is the first verse in the Quran, in, the, in this chapter. It says Bara. Bara, which means I wash my hands. Muhammad, he make a treaty with the non-believers when he was weak. And then when he became strong, he want to kill them all. So this is Bara. Then later they change the Tawbah because it says, you know, they choose a word from the verse, from the chapter, and they name the whole chapter by it. So look here, Muhammad, he's saying that the Arab, they are believers. And not only that, they are the first to embrace Islam. <laughs> what happened to Muhammad? So here you notice the hypocrisy of Muhammad and how he updates his information. Yesterday, the Arab, they are the worst, the most ugly, the most uh, hip hip hypocrite, the bad ones, uh, blah, 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 blah. I mean, this is a this is guy, obviously, he hate the Arab. You know, he's not about hating, he's an Arab to himself, but because they did not believe him. So he described him with the most ugly description. Now, when the Muslim they say that uh, Muhammad is from Ishmael, Muhammad is from Ishmael. Let us make it simple. Abraham is from Iraq. That make him either he is, uh, he's an Aramaic, he speaks Aramaic, this is his language, and uh, he is either a Syrian, you know, uh, I mean, as an ethnic, he is from that land. Which has zero Arab, and as I said, Arab is not an ethnic. Which means Abraham, in certain time, he was an Arab too, because if he he live in a tent, that make him an Arab. If he live in the desert, that make him an Arab. So if he move around in the desert, that make him an Arab. If he settle down, and then he started this is like this is the stage of the Bedouin life in the beginning it was like just Bedouin Arab and then they start you know occupying cities so look at this we have Abraham let us type in the screen <clears throat> let us say to make it simple Abraham was from Germany He is, let us say, from Germany. Now, Muslim, they will say, see, Christian princes teaching that Abraham from Germany. No, I'm not. I'm just giving you a name equal to this name. This is not about Abraham himself. So let's assume there's a guy, his name is Abraham. He is from Germany. He did marry a woman. Her name is Hajar. From Egypt which means she is African.
how the son turned to be an Arab if an Arab is an ethnic it's like I am from I am an Arabian and I marry a Chinese and my son is German you see how silly the, the story is all Muslims agree that a child belonged to his father and this is regarding his ethnic there's a video of a guy his name uh, uh, what his name I forgot his name the guy who was sending pictures with without no t-shirt the big uh, uh, supposedly he claimed to be a scholar I forgot his name uh, somebody maybe can remind me so this guy he was saying why in the Quran he was talking about uh, uh, the language miracles in the Quran he said why Jesus he said in the Quran oh children of Israel he did not say all oh, my people why he did not say all oh, my people He said, because Jesus, he is not from the Jews. He had, his father is not from the Jews. Moses, says he said that because he is from the Jews. Guys, don't ask me questions. I have nothing to do with my topic. If you are interested in a different topic, leave. This is a place for adult. I'm talking about the topic of Abraham and Ishmael. If you have a different question, either you wait until we finish it, or you go take a nap and come back later. So he was saying in his video, and actually maybe I can, I'm just trying to remember the name of the guy. I challenged him to debate me, but he is, uh, you know, like the rest of them. Let me see if I can find... I think his name no man no man something no man Khan something yeah I think that his name I will I'm searching in uh, I don't know which one, but he have videos. He speak about uh, the miraculous language of the Quran, which is very funny, and I can use it easy to destroy Islam from his own statements. Uh, anyway, this is the guy. I will put him in the screen, but I cannot. I don't know which video because I saw it before. And actually, I think I made a video about it too. All right. And he said, oh, anyway, like this is the video. This is one of uh, these videos, you see. Uh, 37 and uh, uh, the uh, largest miracle in the Quran. And then you will go there. You will see he says, and you know what? Let me see if I can open it. Hold on. Maybe I can't find it. So we can laugh together. And this, this is the whole point. You see how, how things change. Here we go. I mean, it's unbelievable. I just moved the... the uh, the the the, uh, the play and it's in the front of me. <laughs> Look, this is a uh, 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 Oman Khan, and this is his video, and this video has a three hundred eighty thousand view. Thirty seven and the devil wrote a language miracle in the Quran. Okay, and now he says, in the ayah, Jesus addressing his nation, what he said. When Jesus, the son of Mary, said, O sons of Israel, but Moses, he said, O my people or my nation. Who is the one saying that this is not Khan and this is the Quran? Who is the one comparing this with that? Is not Khan. I will play a little bit of it so we can love together. 
what I'm trying to get at is to be from a nation, your father should be from that nation. Isn't that obvious? Did you hear it, guys? Did you hear it? To be from a nation. I mean, I I don't even I don't know. Like I just moved this uh, thing, and I I got it in the perfect timing. To be from a nation, your father have to be from that nation. Isn't it obvious? <laughs> Did he say that? <laughs> okay. Well, Abraham, Abraham, he have a son. His wife is an Egyptian. His son is what? He's an Arab. So let us say Ishmael, he married from an Arab woman for the sake of argument. That will not make the children of Ishmael Arab. That will make them Aramaic like Abraham. This is what he just said. This is what Islamic religion teach. Let us hear it again. Or the children of Israel. You know what we learned from that in Semitic tradition and in Arab tradition as was carried originally by Abraham also, identity was given by the father. The nation itself is... Identity was given by who? By the father. So what the Muslim, they say that Ishmael, he married a woman, she's an Arab. <laughs> Bingo. We are done with the debate. And they just say that this is the tradition of the Jews. He, he said, not me. And the Arab. And he is trying to prove to us a miracle in the Quran. I want to hear it again. Maybe I did not hear correct. In quote, my nation. Addressing them with what words? What was the first words used to address them? Yeah, my nation. Ya me, my nation. Okay. Let's come to what Jesus said. When Jesus, the son of Mary, said, Ya Bani Israel, sons of Israel. Sons of Israel. Now, what did he not say? What did Moses say that Jesus didn't say? Okay, so Moses says, My nation, but Jesus says, Sons of Israel. Now, sons of Israel is another term used for the Israelites, isn't it? Or the children of Israel. You know what we learned from that in Semitic tradition? And in Arab tradition, as was carried originally by Abraham also, identity was given by the father. The nation itself is named after who? Not the mother, but the father, Israel himself. And actually in, in the Quran, all of humanity are called children of, not Eve, but Adam. Adam because identity, na nation, is defined by the father. And this is natural in most societies. The last name is given through the father. The, fa the father's name is acquired, even though there are exceptions. Now... What I'm trying to get at is to be from a nation, your father should be from that nation. Isn't that obvious? Obvious. To be from a nation, Very it's only expected that your father should be <laughs> from that nation. So when Moses says, my nation, what's he actually saying? That my father is from among you. But Jesus, never in the Quran do we find him say my nation. Never. Every time he addresses them, what does he say? Sons of Israel. Now, why would he never say my nation? Because he doesn't have a father. He is a miraculous. He's of miraculous. Thank you. So actually, we just approve right now that Jesus is not what Muslims, they say he is from the Jews. He is from heaven. He did not call them my people. He called them children of Israel. <laughs> and Moses, he called them my people because my father is from among you. So how Muhammad became from Ishmael? This is number one. It's impossible and there's no proof of it. Secondly, even if he from Ishmael, that will not make the Ishmael the father of the Arab. That will make Muhammad an Aramaic person. That will not make Muhammad an Arab. But Muhammad never spoke Aramaic, he did not know Aramaic, and he never claimed to be Aramaic. So the Muslim themselves, they help us always to get themselves busted. And this is little statement of Nu'man Khan, which is not even, a, we played uh, even like 30 seconds. Nu'man Khan, he helped us, and this is his video. And this is in the moment 11, 11, as you see in the screen. 
He helps us to understand something about the Quran. Jesus never says, oh, my people. Because they are not his people. He is their God. This is why in the Bible, Jesus described them. I came to my sheep and my sheep, they rejected me. But, but he have a sheep. You know, he have a sheep from other place. He is the shepherd. He is the Lord. Moses, he called the Jews my people because he is from the Jews. His father is from the Jews. And we heard Naaman Khan saying that. Jesus, according to Naaman Khan, as we heard, he is not, his father is not of the Jews. So he cannot be considered of the Jews. So based on what we just heard, if Jesus cannot be of the Jews because his father is not exist from the Jews, and he have no father anyway, and Moses is considered from the Jews because his father is from the Jews, that means Muhammad himself, he cannot be from Ishmael. Why? Because you Muslims, you say he's an Arab, and you consider Arab as an ethnic. If Muhammad was from Ishmael, then he should be an Aramaic like his father, not an Arab. According to your logic, not mine. Secondly, if Ishmael, he did marry a woman, she is an Arab. That will not change the fact that still we heard and we heard this guy saying that the tradition of the Jews and the Arab, that the father belonged, that the child belonged to his father. So he is from the nation of the father, not from the nation of the women. And even he confirms, says even the Quran, sons of Adam, saying the Quran, sons of Adam, he never says sons of Eve. And here you see how the Muslims they play. Here he's trying to make a miracle so he get himself busted. But if he knew that this will be used to get Muhammad busted and the Islam busted by claiming that Muhammad is from Ishmael, he will never say that. And this is the problem always we see when we are. Uh, uh, I will post the link for this video as reference for those who like to watch it and laugh. Everything in this video, I can debunk it in two seconds. One by one. One by one. It's like fun. Because it is literally stupid. Literally. And this is what happened always. And this is why they refuse to debate me. This guy, he sound like a smart in front of the one who have low IQ. I will add this video and in info for people who, or Muslims, maybe they will wonder where this video is coming from. So from a short video made by Muslims, spread by Muslims, published by Muslims, and they have a nice graphic, thank you Muslims, they prove to us that all their claim is false because this is against the tradition and the teaching of Allah and even against what the Jews teach as Nu'man Khan, he said. Now, the one who claimed that Ishmael is the father of the Arab. Who is he? He can prove that to us. Who is the hero in the crowd? He is willing to give me a call and show me where we can find the reference in the Islamic cult. Saying that Ishmael is the father of the Arab. Who want to do that? Any Muslim? Don't, guys, I, how many times I need to repeat? Please, 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 for God's sake. Don't ask me a question have nothing to do with my topic. I mean, think about it. You're an adult. You're a mature. You go to guy. He is talking about how we build a house. And you ask him how to make a salad. I mean, why we cannot concentrate as adult? Are we a bunch of kids? 
He, this guy, he want candy. The other one, he want a toy. Concentrate with me. Why you want me to leave the topic just to answer your question, which I have nothing to do with my topic? You see, I have a lot of patience with Muslims, but I cannot have patience with the Christians who, I, I don't know, they have a flight of thought, some of them. We talk about potato, they talk about tomato. Focus with me. I choose from my life, from my time, from my day to take my time, get myself angry because of you guys. Thank you. To teach you. And now look what you do. I'm teaching you how to answer and refute the Muslims. So don't change the topic. Muslims, where we can't find the reference anywhere in the Quran, it says that Ishmael is the father of the Arab. Any Muslim? Any Muslim can show me where in the Quran it says that Ishmael is the father of the Arab? Okay, forget about this one. Where in the Quran we can find that Muhammad is from Ishmael? Any Muslim? I will shave my 100 foot beard. She is growing very fast. If a Muslim can show me a verse in the Quran saying that Muhammad is from Ishmael. And if it is not, then you need to tell me why. Why? Why is that in the Quran? As long as it's very important for your religion to prove that Muhammad is descendant from Abraham. So why it's not there? Okay, forget about this. Who is a Muslim want to show me that Muhammad saying it clearly that the one who sacrificed or the one who was being sacrificed by Abraham is Ishmael not Isaac? Not even once. Muhammad he mentioned that. Why? This is how silly this cult is. It's silly. You know, even the word silly, it's not even called if Islam does not even deserve to be called silly. What kind of God he have a time to tell us about the ant who warned the ant? Suleiman is going to crush you. What? What what? What what happened? An ant she told the ant. So Allah in his office, he have time to tell us bedtime stories, not even good for kids. Hmm? But he don't have time to tell us. And look what the Arab they said to Muhammad each time he tell those stories. This is the tales of the ancient. This is fairy tales, you idiot. Do you see it? Each time Muhammad he opened his mouth. They say to you, the Arab, they were amazed with the Quran. The Arab, they were laughing at Muhammad. When Solomon, he arrived to the valley of the ants, one of the ants, she said, uh, hold on, first ants don't talk. Now, literally they don't, but do, they, do the ants and other creatures, insects, etc., they communicate? Absolutely. So we can say they have their own language, but here the Arabic is so clear. قالت قالت حتى إذا أوتوا على وادي النمل قالت نملة يا أيها النمل ادخلوا مساكنكم قالت what قالت mean translation even your Islamic translation said she said or the ant said but ants don't talk and to prove that this is a word he She's like the ant spoke because Suleiman he heard her speech. <laughs> Do you see it? Suleiman he heard her speech. 
So this God, he have time to tell us a stupid story, which is copied from the fairy tales, the legions of the Jews. This is a story you can find in the books of the Jews. It's a, it's a fiction stories about the glory of Suleiman. Suleiman have a flying carpet. Suleiman, I mean, they, they have tons of stories about this guy. His name is Suleiman who fly with flying carpet. He have a flying horse. He have a horse with two wings. Uh, uh, he was walking in the valley of the ants. And one, it's exactly, actually, as it says in the Legion of the Jews. So Muhammad, he learned those stories from the Jews, which they tell them to their kids. And bingo, he put it in the Quran. I will give you an example about Muhammad, the copy-paste guy. And this is why he got himself busted extremely because of his stupid behavior. Muhammad, he believes strongly that the Jews are the one who have knowledge. And because of that, he copy whatever the Jews says to him. <clears throat> we are not changing topic. I will go, we, we, we just to confirm an idea how Muhammad, he copy. And then we will continue. Muhammad, he taught his followers that urination is the main cause of the punishment in the grave. Have you ever heard of a God? He will torture you in the grave because of your urine? Christian Prince. Yes, who is this? Um, Allah. Well, what happened? In the day of etc., you have some urine touching your foot. Okay, okay, I'm going to torture you. Please. Well, why don't make the private part of the male like the nose of the elephant so he will not touch himself? So the punishment of the grave, most of it, most of it, because of urine. Have you ever heard of a stupid thing? He cut that from the Jews. And we will prove it to you. Shall we prove it to you? Let us see. Let us see the hadith. I'll try to find it for you. Well, a Jewish woman, she came to Aisha. Here we go. Look, guys. This is a Sahih hadith. A Jewish woman entered into me, who is talking to Aisha, the wife of Muhammad. And she said, who said that? Take a note, the Jewish women. The tor tor torment of the grave is because of urine. Like, what the heck? Do you hear it? Do you see it? And look what Aisha she said. Please focus with me. I said, Aisha is talking, you are lying. Like, what? You are sent to me by Christian Prince, and you are lying. Aisha, she said that to the Jewish woman. You are lying. So it was the idea of the Jewish women that torture of the grave is because of urine. Aisha, not only she said, um, I don't know about that. She said, you are lying, which means it's silly. Come on, stupid. This is really stupid. So Aisha, she agreed with me that this is stupid. She said, no, it's true. We cut our skin and the clothes because of it. So the Jews, when the skin, when uh, this is how clean they are. When, when a urine touch their clothing, they even cut, they don't wash the, the clothing, they cut it off. The message of Allah went out to pray and our voices became loud, like they are fighting over this now, Aisha and the Jewish woman. He said, what is this? So I told him what she said, which means the urine is the cause of the, throat, the torture of the grief. He said, she spoke the truth. Like, what the heck? Muhammad, he agreed with the Jewish women. And look what Aisha, she said, this is very important. After that day, he never offered any prayer, but he said, following the prayer, Rabba, Jibreel, wa malaikat, etc., Israfil, you know, I, like, I, please, I seek refugee from the torture of the grave. Do you see it? He never mentioned that before. 
he never mentioned such a prayer ever before but after the Jewish women she said that Muhammad he cannot even pray to Allah without saying please Allah I seek refuge from the punishment of the grave which is because of what because of urine which means Muhammad he used to piss on himself every day otherwise if you don't piss on yourself why are you afraid of the punishment of grave because of urine are you getting my point if I'm not doing that why I will be worried about my piss touching me and there will be torture I'm not I'm not doing that but this is the proof that Muhammad he piss on himself every day and he never prayed that look Aisha saying that not me Abdul it says after that day he never offered any prayer without saying I seek refuge by Allah from the torment of the grave but Aisha she never heard that before he heard the Jewish woman like it, uh, saying it he liked it he copied it and he taught that's it do you see it so we can we prove easy that Muhammad is heavily infected by the influence of the Jews stories and most of it is fiction stories uh, we have uh, mr. Muhammad Qasim saying just to show you the comedy uh, Muhammad Qasim saying the punishment of the grave happened for uh, various reasons and the Prophet teaching us the prayer I mean do you see the logic <laughs> first of all it's very silly and very stupid to be tortured in the grave because simply so what the judgment day for and in the top of that you are dead are you dead or alive are you dead or alive according to your prophet two angels will come to you so the first one will ask you or that angels will ask you three questions read and love the message of Allah when uh, when the uh, deceased uh, or he said when one of you is buried two angels a black and the blue eyed his eye this is not the color of the angel this is the eye will come to him one of them is called Al Munkar and the other one his name is Nakia <laughs> they say what did you use to say about this man which man so he say what he was saying before death he is Allah's slave and his messenger so they will show him a picture of Muhammad and they will ask him what do you use to say about this man <laughs> it's like I mean the guy he died he's dead and now he is buried under the ground and now two angels going inside the ground and they are asking him a question and he open his mouth and he talk and the first question is what do you use to say about Muhammad uh, if I if the, the, the angels will come to Christian Prince after he died Christian Prince what do you use, use to say about Muhammad he's an idiot of the village and then the angels brother will hit me with the hammer they will, with him, will hit you what they will hit you with the hammer and the hammer will make you go down in the ground 70 cubit do you see it and if you give the correct answer the grave will expand will become 70 cubits you will have a big living room by yourself in the grave <laughs> but if you don't give the correct uh, answer they will hit you with the hammer and they will squeeze you this is Muhammad This is Muhammad and the story of Muhammad. Let me see the other hadith. Uh, I want to see the one about the hammer. Anyway, like maybe we later, let's go back to, uh, to Abraham. So as you see, Muhammad is just a fraud who copies stories from people around him and he says stupid things 
what you are dead and two angels will come to you this is something he learned from the Jews the Jews they believe that when somebody he die his spirit will be not in the grave his spirit will be hovering over the grave for a few days and this is the time this spirit not the body will be either punished for the bad or is going to be in peace and leave in peace so Muhammad he took from the Jews their stories and he add his own spice as usual now we go back to Abraham who is a Muslim he is going to show us where in the Quran it says Abraham is the father of Muhammad or the grandfather of Muhammad anyone why in the Quran we find that the Quran speak about this guy is a son of this guy the son of guy the son of this guy but when it's come to Muhammad there's nothing if we go right now and look in the Quran and we type the word Muhammad we will not find a single place where it says who is Muhammad those are the verses speak about Muhammad chapter 3 verse 144 3 188 33 40 47 2 48 29 that's it okay first one who is Muhammad he is just a messenger mm hmm this is the definition of Muhammad how come you call the Jews the children of Israel you know what I'm saying why why we why the Quran says that Abraham he have a son his son is Isaac his son is Ishmael his son is uh, you know etc so wh wh why Muhammad why why Isa himself is a son of Mary but Muhammad is a son of no one who is Muhammad how we will know like I am a person remember Muhammad he said to the Muslims don't write the hadith Anyone who write the hadith erase it And I find it very funny showing me that those who follow Muhammad they have a problem Anyone notice why? Imagine I say guys hey don't write after me what I say and then you write down Christian Prince here said don't write after me what I say <laughs> Too much hashish The Prophet he just told you don't take down anything from me and he who took it down anything except the Quran he should face it erase it Then how you write it Guys do you understand the the, the stupidity Do you understand the stupidity It's like saying to somebody don't write on the wall and you go and you write in the wall saying Christian Prince he said don't write in the I just told you don't write in the wall erase it and you go and you write it madness and stupidity so based on Muhammad order that Muslim should not have hadith how we will know that Muhammad is a son of who born where located where and who is he because Muhammad he says erase anything except the Quran Any Muslim have an answer? Look what uh, Mr. Muhammad said. CB is making an argument out of lack of men mention, uh, uh, mention of certain things, claiming, claiming. Don't tell me, I'm, what about you mention it for me? Stop playing your drama. Why you don't call me, Muhammad Qasim, and let us laugh together. Instead of saying Christian Prince, he have a lack of information. What about you? Call me and give me the information. Look, even people they are luling for you. You see the lul? Uh, lul peace upon him is luling at you. So what about you? Call me. Let me open Skype, and you call me and show everybody that Christian Prince he have a lack of information. A uh, Christian Prince maybe is hiding information. 
and Prophet Google, peace upon him, he will help you. Where in the Quran, in the whole Quran, it says that Muhammad is from Ishmael. Where in the Quran, even it says Muhammad is the father, the son of who? Nowhere. Why? Any Muslim knows why? Anyone? Oh, where is the Muslims who says the Christian prince do not know? Well, we want to know from you who is a Muslim is willing to call us and show us the truth. Muhammad says, don't take the hadith from anyone. Don't even write it. Only Quran. This is why there's a group of Muslims and growing now. It's called Quran only. And this is Sahih. This is not, uh, not authentic. This is an authentic hadith, which means Muhammad, he said that. Okay. So based on the order of Muhammad, how we will know who is Muhammad? And why the Quran never mentioned? Is that like uh, Allah was not really smart? He made a mistake. He should mention it. Any Muslim knows? Is that because it's not important? So Allah have time to speak about the ant who spoke to Solomon, Solomon, but he don't have time to tell us about uh, who is Muhammad. Look, there's a verse in the Quran saying, Muhammad was not the father of any man among you, but he is the messenger of Allah. Muhammad is an impotent man. He cannot have kids. Quran confirmed that. But why it's mentioning this? Who cares if he have a children or not? Any Muslim can tell us? What is the point of this uh, thing? The point is very simple. Muhammad is coming from the middle of nowhere and he never left anyone behind he have no children he have nothing and he is unknown father you see the Muslims if you ask them if you ask Muhammad Qasim what is the name of the father of Muhammad he will say to you Abdullah but his name Abdullah let us type the name in the screen Abdullah Okay, type it in English now. Abd I don't know why this thing is slow, but what we can do. Abdullah, Abd means slave. I mean black in the same time. Because usually in the Arab, you know, they consider the the, the, the slave is the black person. They enslave the black people. Abdullah is the father of Muhammad. Okay, but how the father of Muhammad will go to hell? Yet he is a he is the slave of Allah. How somebody he is a slave of Allah will go to hell? The truth is, Abdullah is a statement. People they say, if he is unknown, like uh, I'm reporting a story, and uh, a guy from the crowd he said something. So what I say, Abdullah which means one of the slave of Allah, huh? he said something. I do not know his name. That's what Abdullah means. And Islamic books prove that Muhammad was born more than four to five years after this guy supposedly he died because he and his father, they married in the same day. And Supposedly the father of Muhammad, he died right away. He went on a trip and never come back. 
few months after so how they married in the same day but yet Hamza <laughs> is four years older than, than Muhammad <laughs> to make it simple let us say me and my brother we marry in the same day and then I die okay and then my wife she gave birth me and my brother remember we married in the same day so and then after a month or two I die and then and my brother he is still alive but we married in the same day remember that then I die and then my brother he have a son he have a son who is four years older than my son are you getting the point which mean his son if you know uh, if both of us we slept with the same woman in the same day I'm just giving you the examples and both of us we made the women carry a child from us in the same day or the same week or the same month then it's impossible that my son and I am the one who die a week or two or a month after my marriage will be born four years after his son imagine you divorce your wife four years ago and then four years after your wife she called you says uh, come and pay for the bill in the hospital for your son I just gave birth I divorced you four years ago she would say no this is why the Muslims actually they believe that a Muslim woman she can be carrying a child even up to 10 years after divorce or being a widow because what happened of Muhammad to Muhammad but this is the first story and actually there's many hadith speaking about Muhammad he is an unknown person he was like a palm tree in the middle of the desert nobody knows who is his he actually there's a story about a group a tribe they came and asked for Muhammad as their son they claim that he is their son they claim that Muhammad is their son however instead of wasting our time asking who is Muhammad let us go and see what the Muslim themselves says about Ishmael because remember our topic is what Ishmael versus Isaac but I made this introduction little long to show you that anyway the Arab have nothing to do with Ishmael and we showed you the video of Nu'man Khan where he says the child go by his father so if Ishmael he marry an Arab woman still his children should not be considered as Arab and we showed you the video of Nu'man Khan. Kabich. Now, if we go and read the interpretation of the Quran, chapter 37, verse number 17. Okay. Who is this one who is sacrifying him with the great sacrifice? I will read for the Muslims and those who speak Arabic they can read with me what At-Tabari is saying this is Tafsir At-Tabari read with me and this is the official government website of the, go the, the government of Jordan actually you know what let me open it in Google translate uh, Google uh, browser so I can uh, click at uh, translate because uh, uh, I'm using Firefox and Firefox is not supported with this uh, option all right this is the this is a, a Google I will click in the front of you translate to English all right and saying we received the greatest slaughter says it was Isaac the greatest slaughter do you see it guys do you see it This is the Muslim scholars saying, and this is a Tabari, one of the oldest historian and a scholar in Islam. 
saying that a tabari a tabari saying that the one is to be slaughtered it was Isaac And here they continue saying where the place of the slaughter was it was to be happened and some of them says Isaac and he is quoting who is the one who say that it is Isaac from Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas said it is Isaac who is Ibn Abbas this is the cousin of Muhammad the cousin of Muhammad who Muhammad he prayed for him to be the scholar of Islam I'm saying that the, the one who's supposed to be slaughtered is Isaac wrong translation what do you mean wrong translation this is Google uh, for sure the translation is not perfect but it says it clearly it's Isaac guys is it clear even with the Google translation it says here we go from Ikrama, from Ibn Abbas, a redeemed the great slaughter said it is Isaac. So don't play the game. I didn't translate saying no, 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 no. This is Google translation. And then he says, Jacob told me, he said, then Ibn Ali from David from Ikrama, uh, from Ibn Abbas said, sacrifice Isaac. <laughs> Do you want to cry? You want me to give you some tissues? If you want some tissues, let me know. Christian Prince, this is the wrong, uh, wrong translation. I don't need to translation. I can read for you in Arabic. Here we go. Forget about translation, Abdul. As supposed to, you speak Arabic, right? You know what? I will shave my 110 foot uh, beard if you speak Arabic. And here we go, in the front of you. Qala ibn Abbas, alladhi amra bidabhihi Ibrahim huwa ishaq. Let us zoom. Do you like zoom? Do you like boing boing or zoom zoom? You don't translation. Wrong what? Wrong translation. And not only that, he is saying that this is reported from Ali ibn Abi Talib. Read, read carefully with me. Read and laugh. Qala ibn Abbas, al-dabihu is haq. Ibn Abbas said the sacrifice was Isaac. Haddathana Abu Quraib. It's been told by Abu Quraib. Uh, according to Thana, uh, 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 according to Zayd ibn Habab, and Al Hassan ibn Dinar, according to Ali ibn Zayd ibn Jadan, and Al Hassan and Al Ahnaf, and 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 Ibn Abbas ibn Abd al Muttalib, the cousin of your Prophet. And the Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the Prophet himself, in Hadith that he said, "He is Ishaq." Who is the one who mentioned that the sacrifice is Isaac? Your prophet. And now let us go to the English Google translation, the funny translation of Google. Let us say, as I said, let us see. And here, look at the funny translation. <laughs> so, <Sophilis. laughs> All right. Now, uh, it says here, uh, from uh, Ibn Ali, from David, from Ikrama, from Ibn Abbas, he said the sacrifice is Isaac. Abu Abu Karib told us that he said uh, 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 from Zaid ibn Habab, from Hassan, uh, the son of Dinar, from Ali ibn uh, the son of Zaid, uh, from Jadan, the son of Hassan, and from blah 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 blah, from Qais, from uh, from Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib, the cousin of Muhammad, from the Prophet, peace be upon him. In the Hadith mentioned, he said it is Isaac. Do you see it? Who won the link? But, but but by the way, I will give you the link in Arabic, and then you can click at Google Translation. This is the same as I did. But do you see how we, easy we prove it? This is the, according to the scholars that Ibn Abbas, the cousin of Muhammad and Muhammad, saying that. Are we done? No. We are not because there's more 
if we go back in the Arabic, let me give you the link in Arabic and you can click at the trans. But remember to use a uh, Google uh, browser, uh, otherwise, it's not going to open for you. I mean, the option for translation. The one who wanna call me he have to be a Muslim. Anyone else? I don't wanna, you know, don't call me if you're not a Muslim. All right. And then he continues saying that the one who report that, not only even the prophet himself, he mentioned tons of names. like uh, great names in Islam as an example he says an ibn al-ahwas qala iftakhara rajulun inda ibn 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 mas'ud fa qala ana fulan ibn fulan al-ashaykh al-kiram fa qala abdullah dhalika yusuf ibn yaqub ibn ishaq dhabihu allah a man he was uh, he was uh, 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 like uh, so proud about his heritage he said, I am the, the son of etc., etc., the sons of the sheikhs. Abdullah, they are reporting a story about this person. He said, Abdullah, he says, that is Yusuf, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the slaughter of Allah, the son of Abraham. Let us see it in English. A man he came to Ibn Mas'ud and he said, I am so and so the son of the honorable sheikhs. Abdullah said, This is Joseph, the son of Jacob, the son of Isaac, the sacrifice of God. Do you see it? Is it clear? So the Muslim now they want to debate me if this is Isaac or not. Go debate yourself first. Who is the silly here? Who is the silly? And this is Isaac, the sacrifice of God, the son of Abraham, the one beloved by Allah. Do you see it? Abu Huraira, look, even Abu Huraira, even Mr. Abu, Abu Huraira, the father of the cat, that's it. The father of the meow is going to talk meow. Abu Huraira, he said, and we redeem the great slaughter, he said, of his son Isaac. Even Abu Huraira says it's Isaac. I mean, who's left? Who's left? Even Mr. Mio. Uh, Mr. Abdullah saying there is there is uh, like uh, Muslims there is disagreement if it is uh, 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 Isaac or Ishmael. This is what we are saying, my friend. You Muslims are very. Uh, this is a crazy religion. I mean, why your God did not mention such a silly thing? Okay, who is the one is ransom? And why your prophet did not say? But as you see here, they are saying your prophet, he says that. So what is agreement? The Muslims agree about not to agree about the meaning of the Quran. This is the only agreement they have. I never saw a Muslim agree with a Muslim about anything. We Muslims agree about, I can show it to you actually from a mate of Seer. They say the scholars agree about not to agree about the meaning of this verse. I mean, do you see how how powerful this cult is? The brothers, Christian Brent, the, the we Muslims, we have this agreement about this. So why you are debating the Christians about it? Go and disagree with yourself. What kind of religion they are even confused about a very simple thing like this? If we go in the Bible, we'll find right away the Bible says that this is Isaac. Many verses. The funny that Ibn Kathir, he said, the Christians, sorry, the Jews, they inserted the name Isaac in their Torah because they were jealous of the Arab, but there was no what Arab. 
What the Arab, you idiot? If we go and see the history of, of the book we, books we are talking about, we will find that those books written thousands of years before the Arab to be called Arab. Like the Arab, they call them today. The Arab is a, we, I mean, I made a video before. The word Arab is not an ethnic, it's a desert. Anyone who live in the desert, they call them Arabian. I will show you that even from the Quran. And look at the funny excuse of the Muhammadan like Ibn Kathir, who is trying to defend. But Ibn Kathir himself, he said that there's many scholars, they say that it is Isaac. I will show you in English and I will show you the hypocrisy of those who translate. In Ibn Kathir book, they never mention anyone agree that it is Isaac. They just say that the Jews, because they are jealous, they said it is uh, uh, Isaac. They are jealous from the Arab. I mean, jealous from the Arab about what? What jealous from the Arab? And Ibn Kathir in Arabic, it says how many, and he start counting how many scholars they say that it is Isaac in English is gone. We cannot find it. This is why I say to you many times that Ibn Kathir, he make uh, uh, the, the interpretation is not interpretation, is this is a book to defend Islam. But this guy, he failed big deal. Because he forgot that this is even coming from his prophet and Ibn Abbas and Abu Huraira. Actually, in Arabic it says that there are seven of the companion of the prophet who mentioned that it was Isaac. Seven, not one. So how there are seven? From the companion first hand. Not somebody came like uh, Ibn Kathir hundreds and whatever years after. And if we read Ibn Kathir in Arabic, we will find that Ibn Kathir in Arabic have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir in English. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Everything is speaking about those who agree that it is Isaac is gone in English. I cannot find it. In the same book, ذكر من قال هو إسحاق قال حمزة الزيات عن أبي ميسرة. You see this is Ibn Kathir, but I cannot find it in English. They said it is Ibn Ishaq. Ishaq is the Bi the Bihullah. الثوري عن ابن سنان عن أتسع عن الهذيل عن يو أن يوسف عليه السلام قال للملك قال كذلك so he agree it is Isaac قال سفيان الثوري سفيان big big reporter he said it is Isaac قال شعبة عن ابن إسحاق عن الأحوص افتخر رجل عند ابن مسعود a man he was proud about in, about in his heritage in the front of Ibn Mas'ud. He said, the same I just read for you from Al-Qurtubi. So what, what he answered, he says, this is Isaac, the slaughter of Allah. We don't find it in the English translation. It's gone. They took it off. They show you that Ibn Kathir is saying it is not Isaac. It is Ishmael. And not only that, وَهَذَا صَحِيحْ إِلَىٰ إِبْنِ مَسْعُودِ And this is even authentic from Ibn Mas'ud. وَكَذَا رَوَىٰ إِكْرَمَ عَنْ إِبْنِ عَبَّاسْ إِنَّهُ إِسْحَاقِ And this is authentic from Ibn Mas'ud and reported by Ikrama. And Ikrama, one of the biggest names and the reporters from Ibn Abbas saying it is Isaac. And not only that, وعن ابن عباس وعلي بن أبي طالب ابن علي 
the cousin of Muhammad who married two of his daughters he said it is Isaac and here the rest look at those old names all those names all those names saying it is Ishaq Az Zuhri, Abdullah ibn Abi Bakr, Ali ibn Abi Talib, the Prophet himself, Ibn Abbas, the cousin of the Prophet, Ibn Mas'ud, the one who have a Quran. And here it says, Wahada Sahih. And this is authentic. But this is Ibn Kathir in Arabic, and I want you to take the notes, please. The interpretation of the great Quran, the book of Ibn Kathir, volume number 12. Page number 47, verses of a chapter 37 from 113 to from 99 to 113. Take a snapshot. The book of Mikathir, interpretation of the Quran, value number 12, chapter 37, interpretation from verse number 99 to 113. Page, you can start not even from page number 47. You can start from here. The page before it. Page number 46, page number 47. And this is Ibn Kathir. Page number 48. It says Ibn Kathir too. It says that. So, Al-Qurtubi he report. Al-Tabari he report. Ibn Kathir he report. And now the Muslim, they say to us, we have a disagreement about this. Who cares? Even, even Muslim. Even the Imam Muslim. Now, regardless Ibn Kathir, he agree or not, uh, this is his opinion. Ibn Kathir, he came hundreds of years after Muhammad. He never met Muhammad. He never been there. He's just trying to defend. And the question here, why we cannot find all those Arabic information in the translation is gone. I cannot find it. Do you know why? Because this is the nature of Islam. The translator, he did hide it in purpose. Don't tell me it was a mistake. The same as the story of Muhammad and Zayd and Zainab. The same as the story of uh, uh, Al-Gharaniq, where Shaitan, he gave Muhammad verses. We cannot find it in English, in the Mikathir. The details are not there. It's gone. Uh, now that Ahmad is a kid, I don't mind if he called, but his guy is a kid. He's a he's a madman. He's a he's a he's a he's mental. Even his mom, she might be upset from me if I let him talk. This guy he have a mental issue. And this is the same guy who agreed that he's a prophet have sex with a goat. He agreed, you know, ask him to go to give you the, the debate. He agreed. He said to me, is it better than the one who says smash the head of the babies? <laughs> it's mental. <laughs> so, as you see, we have here reference. You know what? Let me show you. Let me show you in English. This is a Jalalain. Look what the Jalalain said. And then we ransomed him, one who one whom had been commanded to sacrifice, namely Ishmael or Isaac. I mean, this guy is a shish kebab. He don't dare to say which one. So he is not sure. This is a Jalalain. You don't know. Have you ever heard of a religion? It's called I don't know. What do you mean either one? Which one? How come the Bible is so clear? The Bible is so clear in many verses saying it clearly it is Isaac. Abraham, he said to God, which one? I have, you know, he says, slaughter the one you love. And God, he knew which one he loved more. For sure, the father, he loved both of them. Abraham, he said, the God, he said to him, the one you love. Abraham, he said, I, I love both. He said to him, Isaac. He named him by name. And the same story appear in different places, like in, in, the, uh, uh, in Genesis 22.
And he said to him, Take now the son, thine only son Isaac. Why he is calling him only son Isaac? Because Abraham, he sent Hajar and his son Ishmael away. He is not living with him no more. This is number one. Number two, this is the only son is coming from the marriage which is blessed by God. The son which is God gave as a miracle to Abraham. Remember Sarah, the reason Abraham he have Ishmael, because he gave up his wife, she became so old and he have no children. So he decided to marry his slave. And he had a son from her. But then after he did, you know, had the son, God, he gave him a mar miraculous birth of a child because she's old, she cannot have son. So this is was because God, he wanted to teach him, don't never give up on me. And this was the blessed son. Even in the Quran, look what the Quran says about Isaac. The Quran confirmed that all the brother, all the prophethood is going to be from Isaac and Jacob. Not from Ishmael. Look at this. Why Allah did not mention that we gave him? We gave him. Ishmael and Isaac, where is where is Ishmael? Anyone can see? Anyone can tell me where is Ishmael? Look, they are counting all the names. We bestowed upon him Isaac and Jacob. Each of them, we guided them before him. We guided Noah, etc., etc. So he counting all the names. Where is Ishmael? where is Ishmael? Why Allah did not say we gave him? Ishmael is the older. He should he should start from Ishmael, not from Isaac. So the Quran, Muhammad is trying to be hypocrite to the Jews. He knew that the Jews, they care for Isaac. They don't care for Ishmael in any way, in any mean. This is their grand grandfather. So he was hypocrite, and not only that. This is reported many times. Chapter 19, verse number 49. So when he turned away from them and from those whom they worshipped beside Allah, we gave him Isaac and Jacob. Where is Ishmael? Yeah, do you see what I'm saying, talking about? Where is Ishmael? Why, why, why the name of Ishmael was dropped? He should. Sorry for that. He should. Count the elder first. What Ismail is not a son now? What happened? You know what I mean? What happened? Where is Ishmael? Not only that, the Quran confirmed that prophethood is coming from Isaac. And Jacob and both they made them a prophet this is the same chapter 19 verse number 49 in chapter 29 verse 27 look what it says chapter of the spider al-ankabut ankabut and we bestowed on him Abraham Isaac and Jacob And we are denied among his offspring the prophethood. Do you see it? Who is the, the offspring he mentioned? What offspring Allah he mentioned in this verse, which the prophethood will be from them? Isn't it obvious? Isaac and Jacob. At this moment, Muhammad was a hypocrite to the Jews. He's trying to say to them, I agree with you, prophets should come from Isaac and Jacob.
a Muslim saying not uh, not a priest not etc can remember the Bible I have my mother she she know the Bible by heart from cover to cover secondly if you Muslims you remember the Quran because it's made like a rap so you sing it you don't remember it you have to repeat it like a like a like a one million times so you can memorize it so what a big deal and if I ask you about one word there you don't you do not know the meaning you don't even speak the language And yes, we knew we have many people who they can recite the whole Bible in the Aramaic language and they sing it too. And actually, singing the Quran is something Muhammad he stole from the Christians and from the Jews. And because Muhammad he was trying to copy the Christian and the Jews, he made a funny book because he's trying to make like a, there's a tone. Like you see here. The word here is a salihin. So what is the last letter? In. Okay, the verse after it, alameen. So now he is playing with the meaning just to make end fit. So like I say, yesterday I saw a rat and he was really so fat. And then he told me to watch a movie. I called, I said to him, it's about what? He said to me, I cannot tell you what I mean this is but the meaning is stupid silly this is the Quran there's no connection between the verse before it the verse after it because he's just trying to end with a certain letter he cannot make a poetry obviously he is very weak in the language all the great poetry of the Arab are made by which means the people of the desert by Christians seven of them it's called al muallaqatu saba The seven hanged, they used to hang them on the Kaaba. They are amazing. And actually, I made videos before. If you have my book, you will find that Muhammad, he stole many verses from the Quran, from the Arabian poetry, which is made long before him. So I just see anyway. They are proud they can memorize the Quran, but they don't understand the Quran. And there's a huge difference between this and that. You're a prophet himself. He says that he himself do not understand the Quran. Not only that, your God, Allah himself, he says nobody understand the Quran save Allah. What a silly, stupid book. Now, all those verses speak about Ishmael. And we showed you from the Islamic interpretation, even their prophet saying that this is this is. Isaac, the one who God wanted to uh, to sacrifice. What about this guy? His name Ishmael. Who is this guy? What the Quran says about him? Nothing. Nothing. Few words. What happened to Ishmael? Nothing. What happened to uh, nothing? I mean, even Isaac, what happened to Isaac? Jacob, you, you see, just to show you the stupidity of the book, it's called Quran. If you ask a Muslim, the word Israel mentioned in the Quran many times. Okay, who is Israel? Who is a Muslim? I tell us who is Israel? Israel. Oh, children of Israel, shouldn't you tell us first who is this guy, Israel? How we will know who is Israel? Who is the Muslim? Tell me who is this guy, Israel? We don't know. They have no idea. Nowhere in the Quran it says who is this guy. The Quran mentioned the name Yaqub, which means Jacob, but nowhere mentioned who, who is Israel. In order to know who is Israel, you have to go to the Bible. So how this is can be the book of God, but this book of God, he have time to talk about the ants speaking to the ants, but he don't have to time to tell us why this person, his name now is Israel, and how we can connect between them, how we will find out, based on the Quran, that Jacob became Israel. You know what I'm saying? If Allah tell me, there's a group, it's called the children of Israel. Shouldn't we ask him who is Israel? Because any, nowhere in the Quran says, who is this guy Israel?
have you ever heard of Muslim debating Christians and making fun of them because the Bible says that God he called Jacob Israel because he struggled with him they said to you God here uh, hey Jacob he wrestled with God <laughs> how, how many times you heard that but look the Quran confirmed the story the silly Muhammad by taking the store the name he agreed with the story because this is what Israel mean the person who struggled with God The that was debating Christian says so you agree that God he struggled with with Jacob the Quran says that you idiot do you see it are you taking notes if somebody is a Muslim he says to you how the Bible says that and he laughs ha 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 this is how you shut him up do you know what the word Israel mean The name of Israel, the word Israel means that the one who struggled with God. As simple as that. So if you don't agree with the story, you make fun of it. Why you have the name there? Why you don't keep the name Jacob? But the problem is that Muslims, they choose wisely who they will debate. They choose someone who do not know anything about Islam. Somebody who don't speak Arabic. You know, they choose like did that. He once he debated uh, any any Sharush, who is an Arab. He debated him once. The second time he did not show up. Any Sharush was waiting for him. He did not show up. Once is enough. Many says it was an angel who struggled. It doesn't matter. You see, it doesn't matter. You see, the name. Let me let me show you what uh, Muhammad Qasim he said. Many they say it was an angel who struggled with Jacob, okay. But the word Israel, it's the, it says the one who struggled with God, <laughs> not with the angel. So it's your Quran who agree that this is a struggle with God. If we search right now what the word Israel mean hmm. in the front of you let us see I will type Israel meaning Read any of them. Do you see what the word mean? What the word mean? <laughs> this is the Hebrew. This is the Israeli Hebrew meaning of the word. It's in the front of you. So the whole story is, as you notice, Islam is a very confused cult because it's made by a confused man. This is why when Muhammad is in the Quran, as an example, Muhammad, he says, Mary, the sister of Aaron. Mary is Ukhtu Harun. Who is Harun? The brother of Musa's. Okay, how Mary she became the brother of Musa's? Kabul Ahbar, he came to Aisha and he told her, you know, this is wrong. Aisha, she told him, you are a liar. She accused him to be a liar. He says to her, but there's a huge, there's many years between uh, uh, Jesus and, and, and between Mary and Aaron. Muhammad, when he came back home, Aisha, she told him, he said, oh, oh. And then he, in order to fix it, he says, oh, at that time, they called them by their ancestor, the great ones of their ancestor. But Aaron is not from the ancestor of Mary. She is not from the same tribe. He is not from the same tribe. Oh, the sister, and between two brackets, i.e. the like. It doesn't say that. 
and we can prove it very easy Mary is the daughter of who according to the Quran the daughter of Omran who Omran who is Omran who is Omran anyone can tell me what is the name of the father of Aaron and Moses who knows the name who want to help me what is the name of the father of Moses and Aaron somebody help me anyone let us see how many of you are studying their homework and studying their Bible Amram you see how we close the name because Muhammad he could not even pronounce it correctly so the correct name is Amram and guess what there's a chapter in the Quran it's called Alu Imran the whole chapter is called Alu Imran the the people of Amran who are they Moses Aaron Mary Read it, that's in the front of you. <laughs> Who are they, Alu Amran? The children of Amran. Those are the children of Amran. So if the Muslim they say it was not it doesn't mean he is that she is the sister of Aaron but how the mistake how you fix the mistake that the father of Moses is Omran and the father in Islam and the father of Moses in the Bible is Omran how you fix the mistake that the father of Mary the mother of Jesus is Omran in the Quran but this is wrong in the Bible Do you understand what I'm talking about? So the Muslim they try to save their prophet from the humiliation of his lies, saying, "Oh, they are uh, look, uh, you know, it's uh, it was his, uh, you know, they call like uh, they call her the sister of the Arab doesn't mean that you are the sister of the desert doesn't mean you are the the, the, the daughter of the desert. Uh, no, 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 no. He meant, he meant it. Why? Because in the Bible, who wanna help me where we can find this verse? It says that there is a three are brothers and sisters Moses and Aaron and Maryam is that correct guys and the name is exactly as it's written in Arabic Maryam Maryam the silly Muhammad he thought that Maryam the sister of Aaron the sister of Moses is the same Maryam it is the mother of Jesus. <laughs> if I type right now, let me let me let, let me let me do this. Hold on. <clears throat> if I go to Prophet Google. I will type the name of the Prophet Moses in Islam, not in the Bible. Hmm. Look at this. Imran, Musa ibn Imran. Do you see it? Musa, the son of Imran. <laughs> Mary is the daughter of Imran. And Mary and that make Maryam she is the sister of Aaron according to Muhammad so it doesn't matter how much you see Muhammad is like somebody uh, he's like a plastic bag and have like a billion hole and the Muslim they are trying to to keep the water inside so 
They keep putting like duct tape, duct tape here, put duct tape there. Book, he's leaking here, he's leaking there. Muhammad is leaking. Muhammad is leaking all over. And all the duct tapes in the world will not fix him. Not in my present. So what we did today, we showed you from Muslims' speeches that a person, he inherited his ethnic from his father. Correct? I played for you the video of Nu'man Khan. What we did today, we showed you from the tafsir of the Muslims that even Muhammad, he said, that Isaac is the one who was to be slaughtered. And this is according to Ali. And this is according to Oh, Muhammad and this is according to Ibn Abbas and this is accord. I mean who is higher than this who is higher than those names in Islam do you Muslims have more somebody higher than that but let me uh, find you the, num the page numbers for those who they uh, like we mentioned the book of Al-Qurtubi but in this uh, website, it doesn't show the page number. Let me give me a second. Let me find the page number. Hold on. Uh, you know, because I like to arm you better, so you have reference of things we say, not just uh, al Qurtubi. You know? Let us see. I will put for you a uh, the sea, so you can relax after talking about this madness of Muhammad. Uh, see, I'm trying to find Al Qurtubi book in Arabic, so we can get you the page number. Mm. <clears throat> Where is Al-Qurtubi? I mean, that said, this is the only, we need, we need a book where it shows the page number. Hold on. <clears throat> Finally, we found it. Thank God. Here we go. All right. This is the book of Al Qurtubi. Let me put it on the screen for you. This is a book of Al Qurtubi. Interpretation of the Quran. It's called Al Jami' or the Ahkam al Quran. Page number 62. Actually, you can read it from page number 61. It says the same. This is the verse. Page number 61. It says that the, 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 the one to be slaughtered was Isaac. And they are saying, and this is what agree about by Al-Abbas ibn Abdul Muttalib wa ibn Abdullah. 
the cousin of Muhammad the uncle of Muhammad too the cousin of Muhammad which is Ali he agreed with it too and what was sahih anhu and this is authentic and this is mentioned in a tabari very number 19 page number 579 and in the Ma'ani al-Quran interpretation of Ma'ani al-Quran very number 2 page number 389 uh, and then he they continue we go down page number 62 this is again the chapter of as safat from verse number chapter safat is 37 as chapter uh, in the book of al-qurtubi uh, from verse number 12 to verse 113 interpretation or uh, an ibn juraj uh, they mentioned to ibn abbas he said at the bihu ishaq and they said that Ibn Abbas he said this is the cousin of Muhammad that the one who to be slaughtered by Abraham it was Isaac and it is the authentic from Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud so Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud he said that too and then they count and even they say that this is according to the Prophet and according to Ali Ibn Abu and look here it says Look at this. It says that the one who mentioned it is as, as, as or they confirm it's as the as the bih, it is uh, Isaac. He says it is reported from Ali ibn Abi Talib, the cousin of Muhammad, from Abdullah ibn Umar, and that the bih is haq wa huwa qawlu Umar. Even the Caliphate Umar, he said, this is Isaac. Even the Caliphate. So we have Muhammad. We have Ali. We have Omar and we have Ibn Mas'ud and we have Abu Huraira. I mean, who is left? And here it says, and those, the seven companions of the Prophet, they said that. Seven companions he counted, the important ones. Two of them are Caliphate. One of them is his cousin. Actually, two of them they are his cousin, Ali and Ibn Abbas. And two of them are caliphate. They said and they confirm that it is Isaac. Banner is blocking the text. What banner? Oh, sorry. Yeah, guys, tell me, remind me from time if I. Uh... Sorry for that. Did we take the reference? So how a Muslim can debate you that this is not Isaac? But the whole idea, you see, the Muslims, they spread propaganda that Muhammad is from Ishmael. Christian, they copy-paste. Many of them, they are like that. They, you go to America, they say the son of Ishmael. First of all, the Arab are a small nation. If, if, the, if we can call them a nation, and I told you one million times, I am an Arab, we are not a nation. That's why we look different. We look different. You see somebody is an Arab, he's blonde. Somebody's an Arab here, have a, a, a blue eyes. Well, how's he? Somebody in Arab, the Somalian, they call themselves Arab. But what, what somebody from Somalia have to do with me? What somebody from Algeria have to do with me? What somebody from Morocco have to do with me? How somebody from Saudi Arabia have to do with someone he is from Algeria? Islam always do Arabization, which means they control and then they force the Arab and the Arab culture. You go to Pakistan, okay, what is the name of uh, any Pakistani guy? Arabic name. They try to dress like Arab, talk like, Assalamu alaikum, nobody want to say in his language. That's it, they don't have a language. The, Arab, the Arabic will take over. And this is the strategic way of Islam to destroy. It comes to your country, and then it forces the Arab culture on you. And the excuse is Islam. That's, this is the language of God. So you cannot pray to God in your language. You have to pray in Arabic. Slowly, 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 you find yourself believing and repeating that you are an Arab person, but you are not. When I say I'm an Arab, doesn't mean I am from an ethnic. It's called Arab. There's nothing. No, there's no such a thing. 
There is no such a thing. The word Arab is an Aramaic word for the desert. Aramaic, even even the word Aram. You see, in in, in the old days, names have a meaning, and then is the meaning that give a definition for you. So when you say Hebrew, what the word Hebrew mean? Tell, somebody tell me what the word Hebrew mean. Somebody saying thank you Allah for the blessing of Islam. Where is the blessing? Go and look at your countries. I see the blessing of Islam all over. If you don't believe me, look at Pakistan, look at Saudi Arabia. You will see the blessing of Islam all over. You need the, the blessing of Islam. You need the protection of, of Trump. And all Islamic countries are slotting each other. The blessing of Islam. This is the blessing of Islam. Do you have something better? The one who's saying thank you for the blessing of Islam. I was asking a question. What was the question? Who remember? Who remember? Nobody remember? I have a thousand four hundred people watching. Nobody remember the question? What was the Hebrew? What the word Hebrew mean? Who wanna help me? What the word Hebrew mean? Anyone knows? Any Muslim knows? Even the Muslim, they called him Hebrew, but they don't know why. <laughs> they called him children of Israel, they don't know why. They don't know what Israel means. They don't know what Abraham means. They do not know what Isa means. They do not know what the Messiah means. What do you know? Any Muslim want to tell me what Hebrew mean? What Abraham mean? And why you do not know? Many they think that the word Hebrew, it is a name of an ethnic. It's not. All those describe an act the same as the word Adam. It is not a name. God, he called the first male and female Adam. That's meaning human. It's not, it's not a name. It's an act of God creating a human. So the problem with the Muslims is they copy names from the Jews, from the Christians, but they are not connected with them. They are disconnected. Abraham, it's not Abraham, it's Avraham or Avra, Avra, the one who crossed the river or the one who crossed to the other side. Why Abraham was called that name? Because he crossed the other side or he crossed to the other side and he left the pagan belief. He left his people who believe as pagan, which means even his name is not really a real name. As we think, it's an act. Do you remember before we mentioned that uh, uh, <clears throat> well, how we know that he's a Muslim? Okay, somebody saying to me, a Muslim on a call. Let us see. We will give him a chance. Okay. Yeah, the, the picture he have in his Skype look funny. Doesn't sound like someone serious. But we will give him a chance. Answer me, Mister. Uh, okay, let's call him. Hello. Yes, my friend, you are live on air. What do you like to say to us? Suppose you are a Muslim, yes. right? 
Yes, yes. All right, I'm go a ahead. Muslim, yes. Go ahead. Who is uh, so, uh, the topic yeah, is what? about who is uh, who is uh, the one who Allah wanted to slaughter? Uh, sacrifice. Yes, sacrifice. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. First of all, <laughs> you uh, you gave us the um, that quote from the Quran. That verse that you gave, and you took it completely out of context. Which one? The one that you gave about the the and we made him uh, sacrifice. For if they know who, uh, uh, hmm. Okay, you speak Arabic. Okay. What about it? And you took it completely out of context. Why I took and it you out? didn't talk about the other verse that said, "Waqala inni zahibun ila Rabbi sayhdin." Rabbi Hibli Mina Salihin Fabasharnahu Bigulamin Halim. Okay. So and we gave him the good news of a forbearing son. Thank you. Who's that forbearing son? Can you tell me who, who? it is? Who? Who? You tell me. No, you, you tell me because well, I, mean, I don't know. You see, no, you see you are, you, you, okay, you speak Arabic. That's wonderful. Yeah. Here we go. This is this is Tafsir al Qurtabi. Can you read for me in the screen? Let me see. And we ransomed him with a great sacrifice. No, read on the screen. It's in Arabic. And you no, translate. Not, you said, okay. And you translate, please. Zanita. And you and you translate. And you translate. Go ahead. Okay, says, this is Tafsir what Tabari? This is Al Qurtubi. This is Al Qurtubi. Faqala Aksarahum. Al read carefully, please. From here. Faqala Aksarahum. Translate from there. Where is ah oh, okay? Faqala Aksarahum al Zabih Ishaq. Mm. Translate. Okay. Translate. Who's Translate. Translate. <laughs> and most of them said most the sacrifice them. is Isaac. Okay. okay. Who, who is most of them? Shit. Okay. okay most of them is, most of them is shit. No, 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 no. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. Did you say most of them is shit? First of all, first. No, no, no. Wait, wait. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait. Oh. That doesn't mean that most. Now you have to remember. I'm remembering. All of these I remember you just said the word shit. I'm asking later you. On. I'm asking you. Most of them, they say it is Isaac. Who is most of them? Who are they? The the scholars. Okay, but, but you look, just told. Hold on. But you just told the people here that I talk the word and the meaning out of context, blah, 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 blah. But when all the, no, 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 the majority, listen, listen, hold on, listen, the majority. What I meant, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Mm. What I meant, what I meant mm. is that you only took one tafsir, which is no, I did not. No, I did not. So let, no, no, let I did not. no, I did not. Tafsir Ibn okay. okay, no, I did not. I did not. Even Ibn Kathir, Ibn Kathir, he could not hesitate to mention that this is his mention exactly. And but Ibn Kathir, he don't agree with it. That's all. But Ibn Kathir is just a guy who came six hundred years after. We have here it says that the one who agree with this is the following names. Look how big the names. Who is Ibn Kathir? Ibn Abbas, the cousin of your prophet. Ali ibn Abi Talib, the cousin of your prophet, and the one who became a caliphate, and the Umar ibn Khattab, and Abu Huraira. So who is Ibn Kathir? Do Ibn Kathir count next to those names? Well, of, like, of course not. But but what I'm saying is that Ibn Kathir mm. is, one of, is one of the top scholars no, of he's not. In no, he's not. You just told me. You just told yes, me. Yes, no, 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 no. no. You just told me he don't count next to them. You just told me they don't, he don't count next to them. I mentioned to you Ibn Abbas, I mentioned to you Ali Ibn Abu Talib, I mentioned to you Umar al-Khattab, Ibn, Ibn Mas'ud. Okay, let me ask you, Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud or Ibn Kathir? Okay, that's of course Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud. Okay, so Ibn Kathir then, Ibn Kathir, he go back to school. So Ibn Kathir, so, Ibn, so you cannot, you just agree, you just agree that Ibn Abdullah Ibn Mas'ud is a way higher, of course. So Ibn Kathir is an idiot compared to Allah. So why you are taking now Ibn Kathir against your prophet, against your Ibn Abbas, against Ali Ibn Abi Talib, the cousin of your prophet, and the caliphate, and against the caliphate Umar, and even Abu Huraira? How come Ibn Kathir now the one you like? You dump all of those which are the most high, and you take the most law between them. Okay, 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 okay. Look, look, look. I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I'll tell, tell you something. something. Tell okay? me something. Go ahead. 
I I concede in that point. Okay, mm -hmm. there's no problem in that. Okay, I was wrong in that point. But what I'm saying is that using common sense, who's the older son of them? Thank you. Who's the oldest one? Is thank it Ishmael or Isaac? You. Okay, thank you. Allah, He blessed who of them? Which one? Which one was Ish blessed? Ishmael, by Ishmael, because when when did it, okay. when did Abraham? Okay, hold on. Abraham, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Made his supplication. My my friend. Okay, my friend. Hold was on. Was it after Ishmael was born? Okay. Or hold not? On, hold on, hold on. Okay. Birth? All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. When, uh, when it says here, you, you are the one who mentioned to me this verse. It says, and we gave him a glad tiding of a uh, uh, boy, forbearing boy, correct? Okay, yes. All right. Who is this boy? Ishmael. And what about Isaac? Isaac came after Ishmael. Isaac came after Ishmael. Okay. Yeah. Okay, but is it is it but, but is okay, but, 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 but did God but did God told Abraham you will have Ishmael who told him you will have Isaac? When did he tell him you will have Isaac? Let us go. When did he say exactly okay, is that is that really which one Allah he gave as a gift to, to Abraham? I Ishmael or Isaac? Ishmael. Let us see the Quran. Okay. And I'm glad that you speak Arabic. And that will solve a lot of problem. Here we go. Read for me. Chapter 6, verse number 48. 84, sorry. And we bestowed upon him Ishaq, Isaac, and Yaqub, Jacob, Mm. Each of them we guided mm. and before him. Okay, where, we is, guided where, is, where is Ishmael? You, you are the one who said to me that he should mention the uh, there's no Isaac. You should mention first Ishmael. Where is Ishmael? This is not related to his supplication. No, 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 no. Where is when Ishmael? Why Allah did not say when you meet, when why Allah okay, okay Allah he gave as a gift to, to Abraham. Well, all, all the children are gift of God anyway. You my children, your children too, right? So uh, uh but your God is saying, and we bestowed upon him, and he named two names. Correct? And then he jumped to talk about names have nothing to do with this, and Noah, and uh, David. I mean, uh, look look at this madness here. How David, how Noah, became between Jacob and David. Do you see there's something wrong here? And how uh, uh, Job, he became b between Solomon and Yusuf. Obviously, the one who is making those names up or putting them together, they don't they don't match. They have nothing to do with each other. Nothing to do with each other. Same time, if we go in different verse in the Quran, it says, uh, chapter 11, verse number 71. You said to me that when Allah, he told Abraham, we are going to give you a son. It is Ishmael. You said that. I ask you, who is this one, the, the Ghulam and the Halim? You said to me, this is? Ishmael. Okay, read the verse. And his wife was standing and she laughed. But we gave her. Don't say the word shit again. That, that no 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 wait, 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 wait. This happened. After Ishmael came. My friend, the verse here, the Quran is so clear. You, you are the one who said that Allah, he gave a glad news, a tidy news. Okay? So why this is a, the guy already have a son. The, the, the Abraham already have a son. So what this is a news is about, why it's a big deal. As you see, Allah, he bestowed a gift on Abraham. And that is named as Isaac. And after him, Jacob. Read it. Yeah. Mm. And the same time, I want to to uh, uh, to to remember that here it says that there's a miracle happen. She said, like in she's amazed how I can mm -hmm. have uh, you know I'm an old woman. So this is the gift of God. 
the gift of God is a miracle because she's an old woman. Ishmael, he was not born from an old woman. This is why actually Abraham, because he gave up that his wife, his wife, she is very old. She cannot have kids. So Ishmael was a gift from God. Not as you, we prove now, it was Isaac. Isaac is the gift of God for he is having miraculous birth. This is why it was a glad, like a big news. So the first verse you mentioned is connected to this verse, as you say. Mm -hmm. Well, well, I guess I was wrong. All right, that's wonderful, my friend. Yeah. All right. Where are you from, my friend? Do you like to say where are you from? Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I'm from the U.S., but I'm originally Egyptian, so... Egyptian, okay. You know what? I'm going to change the topic for you. Forget. Okay, so now I prove that I'm right, and I, I, I respect you, by the way, for saying that you were wrong. I respect that in this person, by the way, because usually some arrogant people, they like they go stubborn. I mean, even if he knew, you know, if he knew that he is wrong, he go like, no, no I'm not wrong. This person, I can tell, I, I have to respect him for, for, for admitting that he's wrong. And nothing wrong would, would be a wrong. Yeah, I when got you, you find out, yeah. you say, okay, I was wrong. So let, let me ask you, my friend. You as a person who is speaking Arabic, a Muslim, and I am a Christian, how you can prove to me that Muhammad is a prophet of God? Well, because like the Like the problem, the, the thing is, the thing is, <laughs> that's what I was taught, basically, growing up. I understand, my friend. I'm just asking you. Now you are a Muslim already, and you're calling me, and you, you have truly a... truly believe that he I, is I can't a prophet. Tell, I, I can't tell. You have some knowledge, too, which means you studied, you learn. You are not just uh, like, you know, you learn. So based on what you learn, how you convince yourself that Muhammad is a prophet? Can you use what you, how you convince yourself to convince me that Muhammad is a prophet? Like you can't, you can't. Like, what is the benefit? Basically, so basically, look, I will go. I, I will use your logic right now. Hmm. It's a scam. It's a lie. He's hmm. a false prophet. Okay, but for what? Okay, let me show you from the Quran. Okay, what is the benefit of doing such a thing? I mean, the Thank guy you. wasn't living in a palace. The guy wasn't doing all. I will these use stuff. your logic. What the benefit? Here we go. And what plus, what like, is the benefit, of, my friend? I don't know what your name. What, what's, what's your name? He has a lot. Of, what, what I shall call you, my friend? What's your name? Uh, I don't want to say my so name. Give me a name. Any, what, what, my name is no. Okay, Muhammad. Muhammad. Yeah, okay. Listen, Muhammad. A verse in the front of us, chapter thirty-three, verse number fifty. And you speak Arabic very well. It says, any yeah. believing woman, she offer herself to the prophet, yes, thank you. What does have to do with God? Why God in the seven galaxies be, be find, behind the seven rivers and the seven seas, he is worrying, he go to his office and he write saying, any woman, she want to give herself to the prophet so the prophet, he can have sex with her. What does have to do with God? You just said to me, if Muhammad is a scam, what is the benefit? What does have to do with God? What does had what does have to do with Islam? Okay, Islam is about worshiping one God, praying to God, blah 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 blah. Okay, but what does have to do with God? But any woman she can give herself to the Prophet. What that will do exactly but, to Allah? Yeah, well, because there is like waqt uh, waqt nuzul. The reason why this verse came down. Mm -hmm. There are reasons for these verses that they came down. There are certain events that happen. Okay, tell me the reason. You, 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 you see, you are trying to use the logic. God saying to Muhammad, any woman, she want to offer herself, and this is a privilege only to thee. Okay, what that have to do with Islam and Allah? Women coming in the door of Muhammad. Muhammad, take me to your bed. What does have to do with God? Well, well, well uh, as I said, like there, there is, there are reasons. My friend, tell me the reasons. What does have to do with God? I'm asking you about the reason. I'm not ignoring the reason. I want the reason. Muhammad is a prophet. He have already. But okay, if you know the reason, okay, okay, okay. Like I don't know the reason by heart. I know the reason. It's a fraud, as you said from the beginning. You said, 
how you say that Muhammad I want to go you said to me I want to go with your logic you said that Muhammad is a scam so what is the reason he's getting the benefit you see all cult leaders they share two things they want to take your money and they want to sleep with your wife let me ask you is it true that in the interpretation of the Muslim books and you are a Muslim and you speak Arabic which is wonderful it says that if the Prophet he want his eyes fall into a woman her husband must divorce her so he can have her well, I don't, I'm not sure. No, I'm not sure about that one. I don't know. I haven't read that one anywhere. Okay, let me I'm let, not me, sure let me find it for you. I'm taking advantage of having you as a person uh, speak speak uh, Arabic, because if I say that to somebody he don't speak Arabic, you know, we will have a problem. All right. Let us find the reference. <clears throat> and I will I will find an authentic uh, website not like a website maybe made by some uh, people all right this is the chat of al -Ahzab. I will put it for you on the screen okay and I want you to read with me carefully please this is I think you know the website very well Quran key s u k s u dot edu sa saudi arabia i think you are familiar with the website right yeah i know this website is right. the, it's the most trusted one when you want to look for tafsir that's wonderful okay and this is tafsir al qurtubi let us go down and as long as you speak arabic that's really wonderful you will find this The privilege of the prophet they are counting the privilege of the prophet the number one is the best of the booty does it say that or I'm lying Safi al magna yeah okay the best yeah. of the booty number two al istibdadu bi khums al khums aw al khums he will have in all inclusive the fifth of the booty is that correct yeah that's correct yeah all right thank you then they continue and then they say arabia to increase more than four wives, correct? Mm -hmm. Which means he do not need to get married. The woman she said, take me, she's his. Okay. Number six, to have sex with the women without her perm the permission of her parents. Yeah, Thank yeah. you. This is a privilege only for Muhammad. It's all about sex. Then number seven, and nikah hobi gayri sidaq, without pain, he do sleep with women without paying them. Number eight, he can have sex even when he's around the Kaaba. Number nine, he can take an oath and his oath in the front of his wives and he is not going to be uh, like it's okay for him to take a false oath for his wives. Number 10, and I want you please to translate, was was okay. al ashir translate please yeah if, if he puts his eyes on a woman uh, her husband has to divorce her and he can marry her to take her okay, okay I look what is the authenticity my friend this is your books I mean you are oh, asking yeah me. I know this is Ibn Arabi. This is not a Christian prince. This is not me and you. This is not Ibn Kathir. We are talking about big okay, names. But, but. So, and it's, listen, listen. Did your prophet, he did practice that. This is about what? This is about the, 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 the uh, Zayd and Zainab. His eyes fall into Zainab and he forced him to divorce her. This is what the guy is saying. He likes Zainab. The guy, he came to him, okay, take her father. Zayn, Zayd is the adopted son of Muhammad. So look at this. You said to me, "What is the benefit?" Okay, what he is doing? This he take the first, the the uh, the fifth of every attack. Which means, if the Muslims attack an, a, a Christian village or a Jewish village, the fifth, yeah, he takes the fifth of the booty. Yeah, thank you. The... Not only that, the best of the booty. Not only he will take the top. Safiul Maghanim. You know what Safiul Maghanim mean, right? The best. 
like the biggest TV, the biggest car, right? So what are you telling right. me? Obviously, he's a gang leader. And now, not only that, I mean, why a prophet of God? He see with my respect to your family, Mr. Muhammad, I'm not trying to insult, or let us say me, so, so you don't be offended. Let us say I'm a Muslim and I'm married, and my wife, she walk in the front of the prophet, and then the prophet, he saw my wife, and now I have to divorce her so he can sleep with her. Be honest with me, is that right to do? Yeah, that's... Uh, like me, I, personally, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. But what guarantees you that that might happen, you know? Because at the end, if you look at it, he's a he's a prophet. What the prophet? Okay, see here. I go. So God has to keep him away from you know, away maybe from getting seduced by other people or he, stuff like he this. He's seduced like, already. Look at this. He, a woman walk by. He wanna have her. I mean, the guy is already married. He have thirteen wives, and he have many sex slaves. So why he wanna have a married woman? It's not enough what you have. He's not like a single guy. He cannot find a woman to marry him. And how in the world a woman she is married she have a husband just because your eyes fall into her you force the husband to divorce her so he can have her immediately you know what wajab mean right it's a yeah. must it's a must it's for a must. her husband to divorce her if somebody tried to do that to you with, with my respect to your family are you going to let him do that to you to be honest no Okay, so how you accept Muhammad doing that to you, to 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 you know whatever people? This is first not just. Secondly, Muhammad he proved that he have no ethic. Number three, Muhammad obviously he have a benefit, money and sex from this religion. He's not serving God; he's serving himself. He made verses. Look what Aisha she said. Do you know what Aisha she said to him when he made those verses? She said, Inni ara rabbuka yusaru ila hawaka, ya Muhammad. Yeah, yusaru fi hawaka. Yeah, I see okay. your God is uh, okay. doing whatever he can to please you. All right. So why why, why Allah he is uh, what, Allah serving Muhammad sexual desire? Why? What does this have to do with God? But like you can tell, you know, she she felt jealous. She okay, no problem. Why? But my friend, is it is it right? That there is God, the guy he have already many wives, he have many sex slaves, he receive uh, many women as gift even from from rulers, additional to the women he kidnapped them from their husbands. So what this is about, Aisha she is said clearly. Now she trying to put an excuse why she did that. I felt jealous, but the fact she did not feel jealous. She noticed that his God, this guy he wished to have this woman. Here we go, a verse come. This guy he want to have a verse come. Which means Muhammad he subjugated God to his sexual desire. Do you believe that religion have an ethic will teach you to have sex with your daughter? And I know that's like that's just disgusting, but that do you did you hear Muslims saying how the Bible says that Lut he stepped with his daughters? In the Bible, have you ever heard this accusation by Muslims? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They always like they, they always okay. tell me that. Uh, of course, I mean, right. brother, look at the read their books okay. and look at just. But disgusting. you see, the Bible, the Bible things. doesn't say that God He says to uh, Lot or to his daughters go and have sex. This is what they did. It's like me now reporting a crime happened right now in Manchester. Somebody he took a knife and he started stabbing people. But this is not God saying that. The Bible reporting a story, and here you see the hypocrisy. Now, if I show you right now, and you speak Arabic, and I'm taking advantage yeah. of having you actually as my guest, okay, that you can have sex with your daughter if she is a daughter from adultery, are you going to leave Islam? Um. Well, look, I've o I've always had this problem hmm. because, like, they say that okay, if Muhammad, I always ask them if Muhammad can do these things, then why didn't God permit it to Jesus, Abraham, and all these other prophets? Why it's only him? 
So I already had this problem, but I don't. If you can prove it, then show me. Okay. Show me then. I want to see it, but I want to see it from an authentic source because, sure, like, sure. there's no way you can marry your. I've never seen anyone do that who's a Muslim. Oh no! They, but, will, uh, but... they will count for you many names actually in the reference. There's many names. Uh, if we go to chapter uh, twenty-five, hold on. I will put it for you on screen. Give me a second. I'm just trying to open the same website we opened before. As long you are familiar with it, uh, look like. All right, I will build it for you. All right, this is we go here to chapter. All right, this is the website you agree and you know it. It's very authentic, correct? The same website. Yeah. All right. This is Tafsir al Qurtubi. You can see my screen? Yeah, I can see. Okay, Tafsir al Qurtubi. Let us read together. Because some Muslims they say that I'm lying about translation. It says, Qawlahu ta'ala, Nasabun wa sihra, an Nasabu wa sihru ma'aniyani ya'minu kulli qurba, etc. Qala ibn al Arabi. النسب عبارة عن خلط الماء بين الذكر والأنثى على وجه الشرع فإن كان بمعصية كان خلقا مطلقا ولم يكن نسبا محققا ولذلك لم يدخل تحت قوله حرمت عليكم أمهاتكم وبناتكم بنته من الزنا لأنها ليست ببنت له في أصح القولين علمائنا وأصح القولين في الدين وإذا لم يكن نسبا شرعا فلا صهر شرعا فلا يحرم الزنا بنت أو بنت أم ولا أم بنت وما يحرم من الحلال لا يحرم من من الحرام. Translation. I will translate or you translate. Go ahead. Translate. You translate. Okay, well, show me Tafsir Ibn Kathir. Can no, you show me Tafsir Ibn Kathir? You, you, you said to me, show me, right? I'm showing you, it says. Okay, but sometimes but does we it have, say, like, between does it say, the ulama, my, my we friend, have my friend. No, 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 hold on. Does it say that a person who have a daughter from adultery, he can have sex with the mother and the daughter? Oh, yes, yeah, from, yeah, from adult. Okay, but does it say too? Does it say? لِأَنَّهَا لَيْسَتْ لَهُ بِنْتٌ لَهُ According to the most authentic opinion, I don't know what happened to my mouse. It's not working. Hold on. I hope my mouse is not out of. Uh, I don't see it. What happened? <laughs> my mouse is not working. It doesn't say there. Let me fix it. it. Doesn't say there that this is according to the most opinion. Of scholars, Mr. Muhammad. Uh, Read with me. Yeah, well, I guess. Yeah, well, okay. I guess you can do that. All right. So, and this is according to who? To the most accurate opinion in the religion, right? وفي أصح قولين لعلمائنا وأصح القولين في الدين. What kind of religion this religion is? You can have sex with your daughter. This is not Lot having sex with his daughter when he was drunk. And his daughter, they want to have kids because they, there is nobody around them. They were afraid that uh, uh, they will not have kids and they will nobody will, they will not be surviving. This yeah, I, I understand. But okay. also, if, if you look at the bottom, it says, no problem. Like they, they have differences in this case. But this is Islam, my friend. Islam all it is about about differences. Nobody agree about anything. But as you see here, it says, The most accurate opinion. Your prophet, he says, Do you agree? So if the majority yeah. agree upon something, according to Muhammad, it must be true. And the majority agree. No. 
So the majority of Islam according to Muhammad is the one who we should consider and the one we should consider is the one saying you can have sex with your daughter as long as she is a daughter from adultery. What they are saying there, the Quran, just to make it clear, Quran forbid anyone to have sex with his daughter, but if she is daughter from marriage, if she is not daughter from marriage, just what the verse is saying here, he can have sex with the mother and her daughter. And there is many stories about many who did have sex with their daughter uh, and they have sex with the, with the mother. Or even they have sex with the sister and they marry the <coughs> wife. Or even have sex with the, uh, you know, I mean, it's it's all, there's tons of stories. So what do you think about this, Muhammad? Yeah. Uh, uh, um, yeah, that's just disgusting, to be honest. I mean, I would, I definitely wouldn't do that. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, what kind of religion? You are disagreeing about we can have sex with our daughter or not. I mean, this is crazy. I mean, this is some, something should not be discussed. Uh, uh, correct? Yeah, Me of and course. We should I mean, not discuss. We should not debate about it because this is come on. This is really. This is really sick. So, the Muslim they come to us. They say the story of Lot of having sex with his daughter, which is not God saying to him. This is what the daughters did. If I now, if my daughter, I don't have, I'm not married, I don't have children, but let us say for the sake of argument, my daughter, she gave me drugs and she is, a, she and she did something with me when I am asleep. Can you judge me by that? No, I can't judge her. Did God say that to her? No. So here we have different story. Here we have religion teaching people that if you have a daughter, she is not a feminine marriage. You can have sex with her mother and your daughter, which means if a Muslim man, he have a, uh, he, he have a girlfriend, and his girlfriend she have she gave birth to a daughter he can sleep with the mother and the daughter in the same time ah uh, yeah you I, de I definitely wouldn't do that i mean that's just that's sick i wouldn't do that i don't know who does this well, to this be is, honest, this is okay. Well, Muhammad, when he had sex with Zainab, and she is the wife of his son from adoption, isn't it sick too? Yeah, but she divorced him. Doesn't matter. Say, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. First of all, she did not divorce him. Muhammad, he went to the house and he flirted with her. Don't you know that? You, well, do you have any like? Um, no, I didn't know that. Like, where did you guys get a hadith? Okay, hold on. Let, 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 sure, we have hadith. I mean. <laughs> You know, and an authentic one, maybe. Sure, sure, sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, yeah, you know, uh, the Quran even saying that. Okay, hold on, let's see. When the story said, chapter 33, verse number 37, when you say to the one which uh, uh, supposedly Allah bless him, uh, hold your wife for you, but you hide what is in your. What Allah bestowed on you. Okay, what he bestowed on you? That this is your woman, take her. The Quran saying that Muhammad was a hypocrite man, saying to the man, keep your wife, while his heart is something else. He won the women. This is the Quran. Now, we go to the interpretation. Chapter 37, sorry, 33, verse number 37. Yeah. And we go to Keep 37. Keep your wife to yourself and fear Allah. Yeah. But he want her. <laughs> Hypocrisy. I imagine I, 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 I want the women, but I say to the husband, no, come, keep her, man. Keep her. Hmm? Okay. Now look at this. And I'll, uh, I will show you. We will go right away to the reference. Read with me carefully, Muhammad. I really, I really respect you, guys. Can can you uh, uh, deny that this this gentleman is a very? I can't tell he's coming from a good Muslim family. I can't tell because usually people are very arrogant. You show it to them in the front of them, they deny, they change the topic. But look, this guy is a decent guy. Not because he's agreeing with me, because he's agreeing 
that this is what is written because this is the truth usually this is real to happen so I have a lot of respect for you my friend Muhammad even though maybe this is not your real name listen it says here وقال مقاتل زوج النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم زينب بنت جحش من زيد who is the one who married زينب to uh, uh, زيد محمد okay. I, want, I want you to take, take a note and then فمكثت عنده حين ثم أنه عليه السلام أتى زيدا يوما يطلبه فأبصر زينب قائمة كانت بيضاء جميلة جسيمة من أتم نساء قريش فهويها وقال سبحان الله مقلب القلوب فسمعت زينب بالتسبيح فذكرتها لزيد ففطن زيد فقال يا رسول الله إذن لي في طلاقها <laughs> Translate uh, Muhammad I will leave a translation for you Go ahead Yeah he was at uh, Zaid's house and He saw her um, and, and what he said Get up mm -hmm. And she was white and Good body mm -hmm. and all that stuff And he said And he, and, and he yeah. Hawiha, What Hawiha mean he liked her, right? Yeah, well, uh, he liked her. Yeah. And then what he said? Uh, Subhanallah, hmm. so, okay. woe to God who moves hearts. Hmm. His heart moves. He, but he's, he's talking to who? To a married woman. And this hmm. married woman is married to his son. This is why he's allowed to be there when the husband is not there, correct? Yeah, correct. You know, you as a Muslim, you don't accept a strange man to go inside your house if you are not there. Unless maybe he's your brother or your father, correct? Correct. Okay. So Muhammad is taking advantage of being the father of this guy, getting inside the house when the man is not there. What he do? He flirt with his wife. With the wife of his son. And look. Yeah, but, but if you continue, like if you continue to read... Mm. Zaid uh, told him uh, No, 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 hold on Continue Muhammad, Muhammad, read فسمعت زينب بالتسبيحة So what she Zainab, she heard Which means Muhammad He said that loud When a man yeah. He said that loud It means he's, he is telling her He's flirting Okay Correct? Yeah Like yeah. I might like a woman But I don't say I mean Let us say All of us we commit sin All of us we are sinners And I was okay. walking in the street And I saw a woman Maybe she is married and like, wow, she is beautiful. But look, he did not even say she is beautiful. He said it clearly that Allah, he made his heart flip. And he said that loud. And she heard it. She mentioned what his father said to who? To Zaid. Until this moment, Zaid did not want to divorce the wife. Look what it says. Fafatina Zaid. Did you see, did you see the word Fafatina? Yeah, he got it. Zaid, he got it. Fatina, and then he went to 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 the prophet. He said, "Ya Rasulullah, then leave it alaqiha, fa inna fiha kibara." So he is trying to get rid of her. Obviously, Muhammad, he wants her. He knew he would kill him if he wouldn't get. So he went there. Obviously, he was happy with her all this time. He never complained. Now suddenly, Zaid is not good. So Zainab is, 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 is hurting him? No. He is trying to say, okay, you want her? I heard what you said to my wife. She is not good for me. Take her. Yeah. What a shame. Do you accept such a man to be your prophet, Muhammad? A man, you trust him, you give him the key of your, your house, and he, is, he adopts you as a son. He announced... Like everybody says, even the, the, the hadith says that the prophet of Allah, he screamed, he says, everybody from now on should know that Muhammad, the father of Zaid, and Zaid is the son of Muhammad. He announced yeah. it many times. So now he go to his house and he betray his own adopted son. Let us forget about being a son. What about a friend? Imagine a friend of yours come to your house and he do that to you. Yeah. Um, uh, 
Uh, I think uh, I think Muhammad is time for you to leave Islam. I mean, there is no way a gentleman like you, smart like you, and I can tell coming from a good family, he will accept such a man to be his best example. This is what they told us, you know, in the Middle East. You are a Middle Eastern, I am a Middle Eastern. Do you and I, the Prophet was the perfect man, the most amazing man, blah, 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 blah. you know, uh, uh, like amazing. Even, uh, even, yeah, Aisha, yeah, they, 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 even Aisha, she they said, say that. Quran. Aisha, she said, Quran. Aisha, she claimed that Muhammad, ethic is Quran. This is ethic. <laughs> hmm. So what do you think, Muhammad? I invite you to leave Islam immediately. You are smarter than than this cult. Yeah, um, just. Well, if, if if it's like that, if it's like, if this is like. True. If this is true. If because look, I just I want to say something. Go ahead. Because we all know that when you have a prophet a prophet's whole life is based on delivering a message mm. and not marrying 13 women and flirting with other women so if it's like that if this is what happens right here then i like the, uh, Uh, there's no way this guy has a prophet. Thank you. I mean to that. Thank you. See, I can tell he is struggling to say it. You are struggling to make the word come up from your mouth. But this is the truth. If this is this and this is this and this is what it is. This is the Muslim books. The Muslims who are proud about their prophet saying in their books that this is what the prophet did. So what about the one who is not proud about Muhammad and what they do? I am really happy for you that you decide to leave Islam. But I have a duty. I have a duty as a Christian to invite you to accept the Messiah as your Savior. I believe that you believe in God, correct? Still? Yeah. Okay. And now you, uh, you agreed that Muhammad cannot be a prophet. That means he's a fraud. So I invite you to accept the Messiah as your Savior right now, right here. And I will be happy to help you but, if you have any questions. But, but, this, but this is a bit confusing because like... I don't know. I don't, it's it's a big risk. I don't know. My friend, the risk. I'm is, like, where am I gonna go? What am listen, what am I gonna do? Am I gonna be like a Catholic? And if it was no, 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 no. There's nothing called Catholic, Protestant. It is not. This, this those are uh, sect. They are not. This is not really what we follow. We follow Christ. We don't follow a church name. Those are names. People create them. But what we follow is Christ and His teaching. And the teaching is very simple. You do not need to be Catholic. You do not need to be Protestant. Who told you? Uh, you read the Bible. There's nothing. It's called Catholic, Protestant, Orthodox. This is not really. This is a division. It's uh, most of it. It's about politics. Christ is our Lord, not the Pope, not a bishop, not a Christian prince, not a priest. We don't follow men. All men are corrupt. We follow only the Messiah. He is the only one we can trust. Okay. So when I invite you to to believe in Jesus, I'm not asking you to believe in any church of those. You believe in Jesus, not on a church name. Those are the followers. Okay. They are not the God. We don't have a bishop. He's God. He, the Pope of the Catholic himself, he confesses his sin every Sunday. He's a sinner too. And the Bible says that every every soul is commits sin, but there is only one person. He never did that. So, okay. what do you think about accepting Jesus as your savior? Okay, I'm gonna need you just explain me one thing, only one thing in Christianity. All right. Just one thing, real quick. All right. It's basically about the Trinity. We have always been told that, like, okay, how can God be man and how can God die? And okay, this. Is, so the question is about the Trinity or about how God can die or which one? Yeah, the entire concept because like if you say like Jesus is God and he got crucified hmm. so like how can God die all right or like okay you see I will, I will go with you how God can die who said that to you that God died you see Jesus he said before Abraham I am 
before Abraham I am and let me put the screen the, the, the verse in the front of you so before Abraham I am so what what the what the Jews they killed is the flesh of Jesus but Jesus exists previously to his birth from Mary okay so they killed the flesh this is why they say to them you can destroy this flesh and I will build you can destroy this temple he's talking about the temple the body and I will rebuild it in three days about his resurrection and why three just to confirm the Trinity if you read with me carefully okay you will see Jesus saying to them before Abraham I am was I am and then the Jews said to him uh, do we not say uh, rightly that you are a Samaritan and have a, a demon? They think that this guy have a demon. What is talking about? <laughs> How he before Abraham? Jesus answered, "I do not have a demon, but I honor my father, and you dishonor me. I do not seek my own glory, not like Muhammad. You see, there, there is one who seek and judges, and then." Jesus continues saying the Jews answer him now. We know that you are a demon Abraham is dead and the prophets and you say if anyone keeps my words he shall never taste death okay. All people die. So what do you mean? Whoever Believe in me or listen to my words. He will not die. So they cut him wrong They thought he's saying if you believe in me, you will not die but this is not the death he's talking about the, the, the death where that you will have an internal life which means you will not retest death which is the death of hell you go to hell you will never come back are you greater than the father our father Abraham who is dead and the prophet who are dead who do you make yourself out to be Jesus answered if I honor, I honor myself my honor is nothing it is my father who honor me of whom you say that he is your God yet you have not known him but I know him and if and if I if I do not know him you sh I shall be a liar like you but you do not know him and keep his words your father mm -hmm. Abraham rejoiced to see my day and I saw it and was glad Jesus now claiming that he saw and he met with Abraham the Jews they said you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham Jesus said most assuredly I say to you before Abraham was I am and then they took okay. the stones to, to kill him so Jesus confirmed and you see here the word I am do you see the word I am each time okay. Jesus says I am he is saying I am God because when when Moses asks asked uh, God I'm going to tell my people what I will say to them he says to tell them I am who I am this is the Bible never give really a name as it is as a name as you call him Allah it is I am the one who exists by myself I am there's no name can describe me there's no name can contain me there's no language can tell about me so tell them I am who I am I'm your God so before Abraham I am so when the Jews they killed my friend they killed the flesh which is created by him this is the only creation they only took down the flesh and then Jesus he proved to them that does no grave can contain me no death can take me and he said in many places in the Bible I lay down myself and nobody can take it from me and this is why okay. the Bible says for God he loved the world the whole world including the Muslims the Hindus the Buddhas because he loved the world he sent his only begotten son to save them so the death of Jesus actually proven to us that Jesus is God not the opposite because Jesus first of all he overcome the death which proved to us that yes there is a resurrection even the Quran confirmed that Jesus he resurrect people from death and even he created from the mother bird he breathed into it so Jesus he overcome death by death he went to death and he showed us that by me if you believe in me look what I did he will go they kill me and back you will have the same
This is why okay. he says, whoever believe in me, he will never die. He will never taste death. And the death he's talking about, death of hell. You, you, you go to eternity away from God. So Jesus here, when he speak about himself, he said, "My, if I witness to myself like Muslim, they witness to Muhammad, and Muhammad witnessed to himself that he's a prophet. But look what Jesus said. I don't witness by myself. My father, he witnessed for me. And how the father, he witnessed for Jesus in many places. When Jesus, he got baptized, a sound in the sky appear and says this is my only begotten son so the Lord the, the, the father he witnessed to Jesus and about I hope I answer you about Jesus being crucified I don't know if this is convincing for you no okay okay you need more explanation no tell me it's okay say it's yes or no it's convincing or not no it's convincing okay yeah. because you know see if you shoot me now you shoot me and I came back to the to, to life so <laughs> you did nothing you did not really kill me right Right. Let us say you shot me, you kill me, you crucified me, you cut my hands, and then I came back second day. So what? What happened? What is that? So the proof that Jesus is God actually the crucifixion. Because if he is not, you know, yeah, yeah, I, he should I not be coming back something. to life. He I, should be like me and I, you. When we die, we never come yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, I understand. I, I want to say something. There's yeah. something, and it's something weird that I've never got a straight answer, actually, about Christianity. From one of my Muslim teachers, I asked them, they said, Allah put a guy in the image of Jesus to get crucified. But then I asked a question about, well, I guess then it's not the fault of Christians because who deceived them? Exactly. It's Allah. Exactly. Exactly. So, like, it's so weird, like, to get, you know, this entire idea was in my head that, like, okay, wait a second, who deceived them? Right. Then. Was it the Jews? The Jews didn't get a guy who looked like Jesus and they crucified him. It's actually Allah who did it. So Correct. how can you blame him? This is the Quran, so, chapter like... 4, verse 157. So not only that, actually, this verse confirmed that we Christians, we did not corrupt our Bible because we just wrote there what we saw. And that's me. We are honest. And the one who was dishonest is Allah, as you said, because he made us see someone in the cross, but it's not him. So what's, what's, what's my fault? If you are a judge, and you say, hey, Christian Prince, did you see this guy shooting this guy? I say, yes. And then after 600 years, we have a, a God says, oh, you saw him, but it was not really him. It was a clone. That's silly and stupid, correct? Yeah. And not only that, there's no witnesses. I mean, Muhammad, he came with no witnesses. The Muslim, they say, what the proof that Jesus was crucified? We have witnesses. Even the Quran confirmed that, that it made appear to them. So they witnessed the crucifixion of someone look exactly like Jesus. And now what is the choice of like having somebody to be executed, but he look exactly like him in this earth? Even his mother, she could not recognize him. His mother was there. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was there in front of the cross. So now I will answer you about the Trinity. Uh, Muhammad. Okay. Yep. When we say the word almighty, what the word Almighty mean? It's just the Almighty, like he literally do, the Almighty. He can't do anything, right? Exactly. Okay. If the Almighty says, I, yeah. or I am God, exist as a three person, you are a question how he can be Almighty or you are a question how he can be three person? Huh. Because if you question him, how he can be uh, three person, but you just, he's almighty. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. The reason he's called almighty is because he is almighty. So we, we say, and we use our, our, sometimes we use our logic. We don't think deeply. This is the problem with all people I met with, even those who they are smart. We don't use really a deep thinking. But we are talking about almighty. And then we say, how the Almighty can be Almighty? But you just agreed he's Almighty. So if the Almighty says, I I am one, but yet a three person, well, because he can do it, because he's the Almighty. Same time, mm. when a Muslim, he refused to accept Jesus to be the Almighty God. So how he can do the Almighty work, including creation, including resurrection, including forgiving sin, including as I just showed you, he says, before Abraham, I am. How the Muslim explained to us that Jesus will come back in the judgment day. This is almighty work.
how 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 he is alive like like now you ask me a question about how Jesus was killed but shouldn't you ask yourself too how come Jesus is only one is still alive and all the all the Muslims are dead including Muhammad this is almighty this is almighty act this is not a normal act of a human being do we agree yeah 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 okay yeah, I do agree, so yeah. Jesus proved to us not by saying I am almighty but by doing what almighty do so what Jesus, you know, if we go in the Quran, we see that Jesus, mm -hmm. he breathed into the mud and he make it a living bird. Okay, how did yeah. that happen? The Quran says, this is the will of Allah, by the by the permission of Allah. Well, this is, this is uh, silly because I can say now that Jesus was able to do it by my permission. Prove me wrong. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, talk is cheap, but what this verse confirmed to us that Jesus he did almighty work creation. Why yeah. God want to share the ability to create with someone? He's a man. Okay, Allah, He was trying to convince us that Jesus is a prophet or Jesus is God. If the answer is He's trying to convince us that Jesus is a prophet, will He fail? Because if Jesus cannot create, if Jesus cannot do all those things, none of us Christians will believe that he's God. Do we agree, Muhammad? He's, he's, yeah, yeah, we agree. But like, there is no prophet that did the same thing, right? Not only the creation. You see, like, there's a story about... Yeah, uh, creating. There, right. There's no prophet who no prophet. has ever uh, done this. Absolutely, you're right. Not only that, like, there's a story about Abraham. Uh... Uh, asking God for things, right? And then when God yeah. he he, uh, he told him to slaughter his son, and this is what our topic today, uh, uh, Allah yeah. Himself He sent a ransom. So the Muslim they say to you, well, why God He need to send a ransom to Himself? I mean, He will sacrifice to Himself or to who? I mean, Jesus sacrifice, correct? But when God He yeah. sent a ransom, He sent it to who? To himself in the Quran because the ransom to who from who who is the one who requests the death of Isaac it was Allah and who is the one yeah. who sent the sacrifice it was Allah so Allah is sacrificing to Allah so the same reason the Muslim they say we cannot accept this idea that Jesus sacrificed himself to save us is in the Quran because Allah he ransom and the ransom, it was not from earth, it was from heaven. And even the Quran call it a great sacrifice, Azim, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. So the sacrifice have to be from the sky. Why? It have to be pure, holy. Here they say yeah. it's a ram, but the Quran describe it. This is the translation. The Quran only says it is the Bhuna Azim. So Allah don't want a the sacrifice. sacrifice yeah. He don't want the sacrifice of Abraham. He sent his own sacrifice. So why the Muslim reject Jesus to be sending or to become as a sacrifice? The idea of Jesus being sacrificing is not like a Muslim. They say uh, the Christian believe in a human sacrifice. No, we don't believe in that. First of all, we believe our Jesus, our Lord. He is our Lord. He is our God. He come in the flesh of a man. But he did not go and say, hey, kill me. And we Christian, we did not put him in the cross. He knew the future. He knew what they would do to him. Still, because he loved the world, still he will do it. He did not run away as Quran described. Allah took him to yeah. him. So no. this is about his knowledge, not about he. This is why you see Jesus, you know, is speaking in the Bible clearly that this is like this is a cup he don't like to drink, but let your will be done. So Jesus here proving to us again that he overcome death and death does not affect him and he came back to us In the same time when we speak about the almighty power and we ask ourselves why Allah according to Muslims He gave all those miracles to Jesus Shouldn't we ask Allah? Did you try to convince us that he is a prophet or he is God? Because how Allah he shared the ability of a creation with a man, his name is Jesus. As long as the Quran confirmed that Jesus he created from the mud a figure of a bird, 
and I breathe into it. Who is the one breathe? It's not like uh, Jesus, he made the figure of a bird, and then he says, Allah, hey, Allah, breathe into it. No. And I breathe into it. You speak Arabic very well. You do not need translation. Yeah. Does it say here that... Uh, Let us see the other verse. There's two verses. All right. Read with me carefully. وَرَسُولًا إِلَى بَنِي إِسْرَائِيلِ إِنِّي قَدْ جِئْتُكُمْ بِآيَةٍ مِنْ رَبِّكُمْ إِنِّي أَخْلُقُ إِنِّي أَخْلُقُ What he's saying? I create, I create. from the mud a figure of a bird and I and I breathe and it's going to be a bird by the will of Allah okay by the will of Allah this is the Muslims adding it but what is confirmed that Jesus he make a figure this is this is also weird because we have that uh, what Allah uh, did to Mary he also Anfakh, he also blew Nefakh. in her correct he, he, so it's he, so he, weird that Jesus will blow, will blow in the in the in the clay and also god blows in that he's so no this is how this is how allah he created adam too yeah exactly he blew mm -hmm. in the, the like if 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 jesus wasn't god why couldn't he just i don't know like throw it in the air and it would fly and be created why does he have to do the same exact action as god how allah, unless yeah, yeah unless he's he, god unless he is the one who created adam so when I have fa fashioned him completely and breathe into him, who is the one who breathed Allah, supposedly? But we find that Jesus is doing the same as Allah. Yeah. So if Allah trying to convince me that Jesus is just a prophet, he failed. He gave him too much power. Let us say that those miracles are given this power given to Jesus. Not He even can tell you what you had in your house is correct. Does it say that? Read, read, read with me. It says, not only he healed the leper, he made the blind see. Uh, uh, he uh, not only that, he says, I and I inform you what you ate or what you eat, and what you store in your houses. How you can do that? Is it the unseen? Muhammad in the Quran says, uh, uh, you know, I don't have uh, the, the knowledge of the unseen. How come Muhammad he have the no knowledge uh, of the unseen, but Jesus have the knowledge of unseen? What do you uh, think? Yeah, Muhammad is a prophet, and the Muslims not only they say he's a prophet, they say he is the greatest prophet. Yeah. So how Jesus he have the knowledge of the unseen? And Muhammad do not know mm -hmm. the knowledge of the unseen. Yeah. And the Quran confirmed that the one who knows the unseen is all is Allah. Allah is all knowing. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Allah is all knowing. But as you see, that the one who have the knowledge of how how uh, he's just a man. I mean, how we, how this person, you go and you store something, you hide some money in your house, and Jesus will tell you that you hide this in your house. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. So what do you think, my friend? Everything lead us to one thing, that Jesus, even in the cult of Islam, Jesus is nothing like him. He is the spirit of Allah, according to Muhammad. He is kalimatullah wa ruhahu. Alqaha ila Maryam. And not only that, actually, the same verse saying that he is the, the, the word of Allah and the spirit of Allah sent to Mary is the same word confirming the Trinity, but in the Islamic way. Yeah. Because there it says that Jesus is the word of God and Jesus is the spirit of God and Jesus is the messenger of God. When we Christians, we agree that Jesus, he came with the message. But he is the message himself. He is the word. 
and this is what it says in the book of John. In the beginning, it was the word, and the word was with God, and the word is the God, or was the God. So Jesus is the word of God. The Quran says that. Jesus is a spirit proceeding from God. Well, this is what the Holy Spirit is about. This is why Jesus said, yeah. I will yeah. leave you. I will not, you will not be alone. Every two of you mention my name. I will be between them. I will be the third. How he can be that? And he said, I will send you the I will send you the comforter, which means he will not leave us alone. We will be always having the Holy Spirit with us. So the word, the spirit, and the man. That is Jesus. Muhammad here is copying the Bible. But this is a wrong trinity. This is wrong trinity. We don't believe in the trinity of Islam. But believe that Jesus was the word of God. Yes, but the word of God is God himself. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And how Jesus yeah. can be spread proceeding from him. I mean, isn't it Adam created by God and that's it? Mm -hmm. Jesus... Why Jesus is not son of Adam? Yeah, why well, he did he didn't say that like Adam is the spirit of God. And why like, he is why not, is it only Jesus? And why just only, like in the Bible from all mankind, there's only one person, he is not the son of Adam. That doesn't make sense. So who's his father? The Quran says that the father of Jesus is God. Because who is the one who made Mary have Jesus? God. It's not like a man and the women having sex together and they have a son. No. Like in the case of Abraham, God they gave a gift to Abraham. He gave him Isaac. But Isaac is a son of Abraham, not the son of God. Abraham was sleeping with his wife. But because she is old, she cannot conceive. So God, he made a miracle. He made her able to conceive from Abraham, not from God. But in the case of Mary, Mary, she had been, never been touched by a man. So why all of these scenes about yeah, Jesus? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus? Yeah, I understand. So what do you think, my friend? Uh, I think, I guess you're right. Do you accept Christ as your Savior? Yes, I accept Christ. As I mean my to that. Hallelujah. I mean to that, my friend. I'm really happy for you. Uh, I'm really, really, you made my day. You made really my day. Uh, since three days ago until now, I did not have one convert. And this is not a good news for me because always I have people leaving Islam, calling me in Skype and talking to me. So I'm really grateful for the Lord to send you to me today. So we have this beautiful conversation. And I am grateful that you. Uh, 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 you accepted the right way to be saved. Everybody is happy for you. Imagine, the Lord is amazing. You call me today to correct me. Correct? Correct. You call me yeah. to prove me wrong. And the Lord, he did his work. It's not a Christian prince who did it to you. It's the Lord. He opened your eyes. The Lord, he guided you. And praise be to the Lord, because he is from now on is going to be your guidance. And my friend, I advise you from now to read the four Gospels, John, Mark, Luke, all the four. And if you have any question, I will be happy. You can call me anytime. Usually, okay. usually I accept only calls from Muslims. But I will give you an exception in case you have a question so I can help you to strengthen your faith. And you can even in the text if you don't like the call, I will be happy uh, to answer you. Because the devil now will, will try to attack you. For you became a tree who is holding the fruits. You see, when the tree holds the fruits, everybody throw rocks at it. Nobody throw rocks at an empty tree. Today you became a tree full of fruits. And the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. And since you call me, I told everybody, and you are my witness. I said, this guy is different. This guy is different. He's decent. And your decency, not me, made you be saved. It's your decency. The Lord, he have a decency inside you. And your decency today is the winner. It's not a Christian prince. It's you who is the winner. Yeah. I want You're all right. the Christians today to pray to our brother Muhammad here. 
and now I was calling you my friend now I want to call you my brother in Christ and do you like to say anything people that look look at them they are so happy uh, I'm, I'm honestly just speechless I mean like I was deceived for so long like I tried everything to do for the past like eight years of been trying to defend Islam as much as I can as hard as I can and like everyone has a different opinion even the holy book the Quran has different interpretations this scholar says this this scholar says that this scholar says this and this guy disagrees with all of them and if you don't believe this you're an infidel and no this is wrong this is right I mean it's just there is no way this can be the word of God if you have everyone telling you, you know this is he's wrong I'm right no he's wrong I'm right no he's wrong I'm right no he's wrong I'm right I just so you know in the past in the past week I've had some doubts about Islam and I I used to look at the sky and I just, and I, I swear to you, I'm not even lying. I used to look at the sky and I used to say like, if you're there, just guide me, please. I don't even know what's right from wrong anymore. Just guide me. And I think he did. Thank you for that. I believe you, my friend. You've been guided. You've been guided and now you have, you are a different person. And now you will see that after you've been guided, you will be a person who help others to be guided too. So from now on, you will be an ambassador to Christ. Remember, you are not a Muslim no more. You just said, I swear, don't swear. Jesus said either you say yay, yay or nay, nay, which means yes or no. And I'll explain that to you in a very simple way. You see, okay. when we, uh, uh, like in traditionally, I, I understand like in uh, you, I was coming from the Middle East, I'm coming from the Middle East. And there, in order to make somebody believe us, we swear, right? We say, I swear, correct? Yeah, correct. Because why? The, the usual behavior of us, we lie from time to time. So to confirm that I'm being honest, now I swear. Look what Jesus said. Don't swear. Yeah, yeah, or nay, nay. Why? Because you should be always honest. Not only when you swear. You know what I mean? So yeah. you swear or you don't swear, you should have to be always honest. And this is the teaching of Christ. So from now on, we do not need to swear. The name of the Lord is not to be used in vain. We respect the name of the Lord. We respect His glory. We respect His Almighty. We will not use His name for little things and or even big things. So, I say the truth. People believe it or not, this is their business. I will not swear. So slowly, slowly, I understand you are still, you just, you just let Islam. But slowly, slowly, you will see how Christ will change you you will be a different person you will be a person new person with your family with your wife with your children with your parents and let me tell you something now yes you are a christian but we are not the same as islam you have to love your family even they are muslims you have to love your neighbor even he's a muslim you have to love all the muslims even though they might throw rocks at you even though they consider you an apostate and the punishment is death that is a christianity my friend With the Christ we live, with Muhammad we die. And this is life. Life is to be happy, and happy will never enter your heart as long as you have hate. The second hate into your heart, it's the same time, the same second, your heart is dead. Maybe your flesh is running and the blood is going through, but you are dead. So today you are alive. And the living Lord is all over your blood. Because he brought love to your life. So from now on, we love everybody. We forget about Islam, the kuffar and the infidels, and etc. And this and this is all is gone. This is all is history. The Lord He loves you, and because He loves you, you are going to love everybody around you. That let the light of Christ shine in your face. And it doesn't matter how what the color of your face. You are black. You are white. You are Asian. The Lord is our Lord, all of us, and we are equal in front of him. He and she, white and black, Asian or whatever, we are all 
the children of Adam and we are all the children of God equally loved by him equally he want to survive us to save us and this is why the Bible says for he loved the world he sent his only begotten son happy for you Muhammad yeah well like thank you like really just I was in complete denial just but I think now I found the right path I'm sure you did anything else you want to say Muhammad before uh, you know I, I can't tell you are emotional I don't want to hold you for long you want to say anything else before you go no all right so what we should call, call you now so call you we give you a christian name <laughs> what we should call you peter <laughs> dante i guess <laughs> no problem doesn't matter you can call yourself actually if your name is muhammad keep it muhammad that will be even more amazing that muhammad glorifying jesus that will be beautiful my friend you do not need to change your name i'm just joking thank you thank you my friend muhammad for calling me and I'm glad to have you as uh, as a caller, and uh, the Lord, the, the Bible says, a happiness in the in the kingdom of God for one soul is saved. So now we have a happiness there. Imagine how much the Lord, He loves you. We are small, maybe smaller than a mosquito for Him, but yet He loved us to the point He said, a happiness in His kingdom will be for one soul is saved. Thank you, and God bless you, my friend. Take care. God bless you. Thank you. Bye. Uh, God is good God is good and when you are honest and decent you will find the truth as simple as that and the truth is in front of us all over the Quran this book is messed up but even in the messed up book still this Quran could not deny who is Jesus we are happy for our brother here and actually me myself I became emotional I, I was hearing his breathing and I noticed it's not easy, you know, like you call to, def to defend and to debate and then you end. And I can tell he was like, sure, I'm wrong. He want to correct me. Like, this guy is wrong. Oh, no, no, you misquote. You misquote, Christian Prince. Anyway, I'm not going to, guys, to keep you for longer. I think we have enough for today. Aren't you bored of me? Don't you have enough? The funny, we, I have a, I have a bass is texting me in Skype saying, uh, "Are you afraid of me?" <laughs> Abbas, I have like a thousand video of you on all YouTube, and people are laughing at you. Afraid of you? Who? <laughs> uh, God is good. God is good. You see. A prophet who make chapters saying a woman she gave herself to him what does God have to do with God it's obvious a prophet saying this woman and this woman and this woman and this woman is lawful for me a prophet who is saying the best of the booty for me the fifth of the booty for me why is worry about himself look what Jesus said give everything you have and follow me while Muhammad was collecting the best of the booties and not only that even his own son wife he did not leave her alone he want to have her this guy anything he like he want to have he's like a spoiled maniac who cannot resist temptation abbas wanna call okay let's take abbas <laughs> Thank you.
Peace be to you, brother. Yes, Abbas, I'm scared of you. Yeah, well, uh, you you block me all the time. Uh, no, because you're a kid. You are a kid. Aren't you the last time the one who said to me? Hold on. Aren't you the one last time who said to me that the prophet says don't peace, don't say peace to those who they are arrogant in Islam against Islam? Yes or no? Uh, I don't know. I never said that. You never said that. It's recorded. I, I never said that. It's I said these people. I said those people. Um, the, what were we talking about? Actually, I don't want to go into that. Topic no, 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 no. We want to go. We want no, no, no. Not. I want to because go I want to show you. I want to show you why yeah, I don't consider said. you as an adult. I want to show you. You just said. You just said. I did not say that. You are lying. Why you are lying? We can play the recording. You said that. I said okay, to you play. when the prophet play. he said when the prophet said don't greet the Christian and the Jews if you meet them in the street with the salam. And you said to me, you you are the one who come with the idea. You said, the reason for that you should, you should don't don't misquote. There's a reason. I said, what the reason? The you say, you say, you say, you say. Listen, you said because those people are arrogant against Islam. Did you say that or not? We argue about this two, three times. You repeat. No, did you say that or not? I want to talk something different. No, no. Before we, we continue, did you say that or not? Every time we speak about did it, did you say that or not? Did you say that or not? Did you say that or not? No, I, I, I want to prove a point. I want to prove a point from the beginning. Did you say that or not? I'm not going to talk about that. No, no just say yes or no. Just say yes or no. I will, I will did you say? Okay. Did you say that? Yes if or no? If I answer you, you yes say, no, did you say? Yes? Did you say that? Yes or no? I will answer you. Then we talk I mean, about why, something Okay, else? okay. Answer me. Yes or no. Did you say that? Okay. Yes or no? What, what you say? How about that? What no, 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 no. You see, you are coward now. You are being coward. Did you say okay. that? Yes or no? What was the? What did I say? Repeat that again. Exactly because I, I to said to you that. why your prophet said if you meet the Christian and the Jews in the in the street, force them to the most narrow. Don't don't start uh, greet them with peace and force them to the most narrow uh, uh, road. You said you said, and I'm quoting you. The reason he said that that it was for a certain kind of people. Who they were arrogant against Islam? Did you say that? That wasn't the whole talk. No, no. I okay, tell me. That. I'm listening. Tell me the whole talk. I'm what? what tell me. No, tell me the whole talk. I'm listening. I'm answering you. Mm. Uh, I said that was not general. That was specific for some people. Okay. Unless you show me that was a general, because it can't okay. be general. Specific. What so kind of people? Specific to what kind of people? Specific to what kind? Specific to what kind of people? Did you say uh, they are the arrogant right. against Islam? Did you say? Did you say? Did you say they are the arrogant against Islam? Yes or no? For something else, you make a lot of points against. Did you say no? This is the same thing we're talking about. You, did you say that this is was for specific people who they are arrogant against Islam? Yes or no? I will call you hundred times, brother. Peace, because you are my brother as a Adam. See, Ooh. that's why I don't consider you as a man. You never answer anything. We have it recorded. We have it recorded. It's in YouTube. It's there. Uh, I want people who they are listening to put that part when he said that to me with this part, so everybody will laugh at Abbas, who bite his tongue. He says I did not say that, and he just said that. He just said this was for specific people, and I said what specific people? He says because they are arrogant against Islam. So why you are why you are telling to me peace if I am arrogant against Islam or not? Why you are saying you are. I told you, you are my brother from Adam. Okay. No, this is not the truth. This, uh, just, just, uh, you see, your prophet, he said, don't agree the Christian and the Jews. And I am from the Christian and the Jews. And you told me why? Because they are arrogant against Islam. So why you call me, you say, peace, brother? Because you are a hypocrite potato. You say that you cannot take it back. I got you busted. And not only that, I showed you a verse and it's recorded. The video is there that you will not find a Muslim. You see, the guy he lie, he says that the word awliya does not mean a friend. The word awliya will not mean a friend. Then we show them a verse from the Quran. It says, You will not find a true Muslim. Who believe in Allah and the last day, who is going to take friendship with those who oppose Allah. Friendship, how you call me brother? Do you see it? You will not find a true Muslim. Abbas is a false Muslim, he's not a true Muslim. 
Like say, he is nothing. He's not a Muslim, he's not a Hindu, he's not a Buddha. You will not find one. Those are the true Muslims. Anything else is a, is a lie. Do you see it? Anyway, why would I waste my time? It's recorded there. People will laugh at you. You cannot bite your tongue and say, I did not say that. It's, you said that. It's already there. Right? <clears throat> Yeah, he's up. You know, they, they, this is what they do. They get upset for seeing somebody leave Islam. Like, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. I advise you to to have to do this. The Prophet he said that if one of you wish to have a son in the heaven, he will be delivering it and carrying it in less than an hour. Actually, sa in Arabic at that time equal to fifteen minutes. So imagine yourself now carrying a baby and you are going to get it out, and the first thing I need you to think about Abbas. Where the baby is going to come from? This is your situation now. You have a baby inside your stomach. You could not believe that people are leaving Islam left and right. And you have a baby inside you. You are upset. But how we, how we can get the baby out of Abbas? We are going to buzz it out from where? Squeeze it where? How a, how a Muslim is going to give birth? From his nose? Or from his... Uh, <coughs> From where? This is the case of Abbas. He's listening. He heard this brother who left Islam, who called me to correct me, and he decided to leave Islam. He could not take it. And each time he called me, he got busted with no mercy. No mercy. Don't play with Christian Prince. I play my, with myself, I lose. I always play chess, I lose. I wish once I can win. Unbelievable. Anyone play chess here? Do you know that Muhammad, he forbidden chess and this game is haram? Music is haram. I mean, this guy is the most hypocrite man ever, like Abbas. Music is haram, but he have dancers singing for him. Abu Bakr, he entered the house of Muhammad. He said, the, the, <laughs> the, 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 the instrument of shaitan in the house of the prophet. <laughs> Which means Abu Bakr, he was making fun of Muhammad. Aren't you the one who said, this is the instrument of shaitan? Why do you have it in your house? So the hypocrite Muhammad, he said to them that music is the instrument of shaitan. But yet, in his house, in his house, he have the instrument of shaitan. Abu Bakr, he got inside the house and he said to Muhammad, which means I'm saying, like, imagine you, 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 you have a son, who he says to you, I don't like cake. I don't like cake. And then you get inside the house and you find the cake and the chocolate all his, his faith, all his mouth. And you say to him, the cake all over your mouth? Did you see what Abu Bakr he said? He told them that the, shit, the, the musical instrument is the musical instrument of shaitan. Abu Bakr, he got inside. He found the prophet, he having two slaves singing for him. Abu Bakr, he said, twice, musical instrument of shaitan, in different hadith in the house of the prophet. But the prophet, he said, leave them, Abu Bakr, leave them. Every nation have a Eid, have a holiday. <laughs> All, all games are haram uh, uh, in Islam. Uh, this is why the Quran says that those who they uh, exchange the word of Allah with, with games, with fun. All right? This is even Quran. Hey, that Quran just, just let your dad call me. Just come on. I want an adult. I mean, can't we get an adult? See, chapter 31, verse number 6, it says, And of mankind is who purchased music, singing, you see it? This is all, those people will go to hell. 
And Muhammad, he mentioned that in many hadith. And he mentioned all the games too. So this is not only, uh, you know, Quran, this is supported by hadith. Music, singing, and name for me one Muslim, he don't listen to music. Just one. Actually, Muhammad, he said, that those who listen to music, Allah will make mountains fall on them from the Muslims. Let me see if I can find the hadith. Um, let us see. And this is Sahih al-Bukhari. I heard the Prophet of Allah saying from among my followers there will be some people who will be considered illegal sexual as if Muhammad was doing legal sexual intercourse he just took his own son wife he was just making verses saying any woman she can give herself to me wearing silk drinking alcohol and the use of the musical instrument do you see it what Allah will do to them look at this madness And there will be some people who will stay near the side of the mountain and in the evening their shepherd will come to them with their sheep and ask them for something but they will say to him return to us tomorrow Allah will destroy them during the night and he will let the mountains fall on them and he will transform the rest into monkeys and pigs and they will remain like this until the day of resurrection show me one Muslim Allah transform him to listen to music into pigs and monkeys until the day of resurrection. Any one of your sons are missing, Abbas? Is any one of your family is missing? He listened to music and Allah transform him into a pig? That is your prophet, my friend. That is your prophet. You like it or not? Anyone who listen to music, Allah will make him pig and a monkey. Backbone, backbone, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you? Backbone, backbone. Here we go, this music. Oh, guys, I have my knees are growing. I have hair in my hands. What happened? Hair all over. Hey, okay, don't, don't, don't believe me, I'm joking. I, already I have a lot of hair on my body. You know, once I was kicked out from the swimming pool, they thought I'm wearing my clothes. You know, they don't know about Middle Eastern, you know? I mean, we don't, we don't need even clothing. We have like natural, I, I cannot even so, show you myself a swimming because the atheist will use it against me in the debate to prove that we are originally monkeys. I think Allah, he made me monkey since then, since I was a kid listening to music. And I don't know it. <laughs> what a stupid cult. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for all of people here. Thanks for those who download our videos. They add subtitle in all languages from Indonesia, from many countries. Uh, please, please. Let the world know, let the world learn. My videos don't stay in my channel, but I depend on you to spread them all over. Anytime you make a video and you will not find it, maybe sometime right away, I take it off. Just remember the title and you search for it in the last 24 hours in the search engine in, in, in YouTube and you will find the video listed and there's somebody else's channel. Subscribe to those people who Download my videos, so always you can find back what you lost. All right? So, my friend, we are Christians who love Muslims. I get angry. I get upset, like from Abbas. But honest to God, I don't hate this person. I love him. I love him. I love his family. I love his people. And because we love them, we have to save them. The truth, my friend, is what we are after. The devil is our enemy, not Abbas, the poor guy. This guy is a poor guy. That's why Jesus, he said in the cross, forgive them, Father, they don't know what they are doing. And I pray to the Lord to forgive this poor man. He doesn't know what he's doing. I pray that one day he will wake up and he will find the truth. That a person who says such a statement is a silly person. He cannot be a prophet of God. Because if he is, at least it should happen. This is a false prophecy. We will never let hate take over us.
we should love the Muslims. Because if the hate take over us, that's mean the devil is the winner. Don't hate the Muslims. The second you start hating them, it's mean you fall into the trap of the devil. That's not what the Lord he wants from us. Love your enemy. Pray for those who curse you. That is the words of my Lord, not my wisdom. Hate start by hurting you. Hate is an enemy. And this is why we fight Islam, because Islam teach hate. Chapter 5, verse 14 says, Allah will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians. What kind of God this God is? That is not the God we are seeking. We want God who spread faith, the, 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 the kind of faith which spread peace and love, where people live in harmony, love each other, help each other. We have enough war, enough anger, enough of bloodshed. We have enough problems. We do not need one more hate teacher, and that is Muhammad. Erase Muhammad from the right from the life of, of the Muslims around the world, you will see their life will change, their countries will change. Because this cult have a huge impact even in the economy. Women they are jailed inside their houses. When women they are 50% of the society, they can be protect like give a lot of protection. Smart women, they can be scientists, doctors, engineers. We jail them homes. Christ, my friend, is a solution. He says, if somebody asks you, give him. If somebody hates you, pray for him. Love your enemy. Imagine if all the countries in the world practice one sentence of Jesus. Just three words. Love your enemy. The trillions of dollars we spend every year for war budget, or we call it defense budget, will be more than enough to make this earth like heaven. Just if, if we follow only three words of the wisdom of Christ. Love your enemy. That's how Christ can change the life of every one of us. And he can change the world. And actually already he did. But the devil is resisting. And there's many they decide to follow him. Thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you all. Christ is Lord. Islam is false. And I'm happy for our brother Muhammad who decided to accept Jesus Christ as his savior. And I pray that his family, they will follow him. See you soon. And don't forget to download the video as soon as it is ready. Take care.